I just got here. My tripod is acting this way. My counterbalance is off, I think. Hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to the artist stream, art free giveaway stream. I'm gonna adjust this camera here if I can. It's being a derp sandwich. You know what? I think I'll just lower my chain down. There we go. Now you can actually see me, and I can actually see you. Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Kosher. This is the free art stream where you get to have your free Sona or your original character drawn by me live on camera. And I'm actually going to try something a little different tonight for you to uh, make this stream the best I possibly can uh, by orienting the camera so you can actually see the artwork correctly uh, based upon what I've been getting getting feedback from people that have, uh, that have talked to about the streams in the past. So go ahead and swing over here to the to the page, to the page here. Uh, how's the brightness doing here? Brightness. That's brightness. Okay. Let me get my volume. What's really nice is tonight my stream is actually working, so I can actually see what's going on on my own page, which is fantastic. Okay. How does that thing work? Uh, uh, make it regular sized. One streamy. Streamy, streamy. Okay. <clears throat> I hope everything looks good okay to you to all. If so, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, let me go ahead and take a look here. <clears throat> Hello, Guppy Vlogs. Hello, Harrison Peloso. Jack the Green Fox. Hello. Hi. I'm glad I can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do with this camera is I'm actually going to uh, spin the camera when I actually have the drawings uh, so you can actually see what's going on so nothing looks too wonky or out of place. So I'm going to try to do that the best I possibly can. Uh, currently, I'm actually I'm actually currently drawing uh, Jack the Green Fox's piece because I've been wanting to get that done for him before I start on new ones. But I will be having drawings here shortly for the rest of you so you can have your drawing take place during this live stream. So you can get a free piece of art like this. I will show you. So you can win for pieces of art. Uh, let me go ahead and grab some of my pieces here. Do, 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 do. You can win free pieces of like you see. Pieces like so. Anywhere from a sketch down to a full drawing to icons to badges, different types of drawings that you can win this year. I hope everyone can see okay. I'm not very good with my vision right now. Uh, pieces like so. Uh, the current one I'm going to be doing, doing for uh, Jack the Green Fox is an icon. I want to go ahead and draw an icon for him because I feel that's appropriate, especially since uh, I feel he doesn't have a lot of art of this character, which I definitely would like to see him get some more art. Uh, pieces like so. And other various examples, of course. So, good. Put these back over here. All of these ones they showed you were the originals. Um, winners can receive the originals. All they have to do is send their uh, contact information so we can uh, arrange a delivery of the, of the item with your mailing address. And you will, of course, then uh, receive that item, of course, just paying for shipping. But that item would be yours then. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and. Uh... Read some comments here really fast, and we'll go ahead and get started officially with this stream. Official. Also, I want to make sure the volume is okay. Is everybody hearing okay? My voice, the uh, music, make sure it's not too uh, overpowering or anything. Let me tell you, it is it is hot today. Oh my gosh, it was like, uh, I think it was like 98 or 100 degrees, and it has not been that hot in a long time. It's really, really cozy. I'm going to zoom in on some comments here. I'm going to make the screen a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured that, uh, Jack the Fox. I figured uh, figured that, that you didn't have a lot of art of your character. So hopefully you like this piece that I draw for you. I've already got the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, about the, what's it called? Basically the parameter. I already have that drawn down. So I'm going to draw you in the middle of it. And uh, I hope it turns out great. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to go ahead and tilt the camera down. But unlike usual, I'm going to flip the camera as well. So you get the best 
hopefully the best possible outcome with this. So, gosh, I hope I can do this correctly. So literally, I end up turning the camera like this. Uh, let's see if it works. Oh, frick, it doesn't. Uh, let me try it again. I'm going to try to lock my screen if I can. Okay. I want to slow it down. But I'm also going to lock my screen, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. So right now you're seeing, of course, my fantastic computer, which... <laughs> And then, of course, the uh, sketchbook here. So this actually helps me figure out exactly what I'm trying to do also. So please bear with me, fine folks. I'm going to actually adjust this camera so I can actually get that counterbalance right. Because this is my, uh, this is my, I have other tripods, but they're actually for my lighting. So this is my only camera tripod I use. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to check on the comments really fast because I don't want to keep people hanging in the comments. because. Uh, it is really hard to see because my hair is so long and I need a, I need a bloody haircut. <laughs> Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas. I heard Las Vegas is really hot. Okay. So that. Yes, Guppy Vlogs. Yes, I'm, I'm listening. Go right ahead. Do the flip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have like the air conditioner almost at full blast upstairs. And then I got a fan blowing all the stuff downstairs, all the cool air. So it's going to be a real treat once it finally cools down, down downstairs. I do not like it hot. Okay. Okay. Now, I, like I said, you're still seeing it upside down in a way, but I'm going to fix that for you. Um, I don't want to rotate my device. How dare you, YouTube? I, I refuse to rotate my device. Okay, so if I do the thing, auto rotate, turn that off. I think it works like that. I freaking hope it works like this. Okay, now we'll do the rotate. I hope this works. Please bear with me. Okay. Let's see if that works. Um, oh, frick. That's not how it works. I'm showing you my ceiling. What the heck? I'm so freaking confused. Um, am I just stupid or is this... Yeah, maybe I'm just stupid or something. <laughs> you do the rotation like... The, oh, you gotta do it like that. Oh! I've got it. I figured it out. So you go like this. You do rotate it like that. But then you rotate it like this. Right? But that's not how you do it. I know this is going to be the wonkiest stream you've seen in a while. I do apologize for the shifting and moving around. I'm going to just have to rotate my camera. Please bear with me while I rotate my camera. It's going to be really, really, really annoying to me. Uh, and to you, hopefully not. Hopefully not to you. Okay, so I do this. I have it on selfie mode. Ah, chicken nuggets. Oh, I'm just trying to get it to rotate so you can actually see properly what's going on. So I was told in a, uh, like, like I said, in comments about rotating this. Okay, can you all see better? <laughs> uh, am I still upside down? Why am I still sitting down? Oh, I'll try it. All right, I'm gonna try one more thing. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna go with it and then try something else in a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so that's what it looks like if it's this way. See, that's what you should be seeing. I just, freaking goodness. Yeah, you bet my stream was interrupted, said YouTube. YouTube said my stream was interrupted. I'm like, no kidding. <laughs> Gosh, man. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Okay, so all I have to do is rotate this. Clip it on this side. Frick. Ouch. Okay. 
They rotate like this. And then Bixby, get off of my phone. Okay. Can everybody see okay? I'm trying so hard to get this camera to rotate. Oh, thank God. I think I finally got it. Like, I literally have auto-rotate ro turned off on my phone, and it's... it's I need a professional webcam. <laughs> I just need to get a professional webcam and stop, you know, just I just need to spend some money and get a professional webcam so you don't have to deal with this, these issues. But anyway, we fixed it. Finally, this is what you're supposed to be seeing, this orientation, not upside down. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. But also, how is everybody? I totally have not been asking. How is everybody doing? <laughs> you got to go eat. Okay, Carol, go ahead and grab some food. <sighs> nice arm. Thank you. Yes, it's. I grew it myself. <laughs> One, two, three for arm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Guppy Vlogs. I'm sorry I've been keeping you waiting. I definitely do not want to keep everybody waiting. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. Yeah, so this is literally happening right now. Happening right now. Okay. And also, just to get things rolling, I'm going to go ahead and do a drawing right now. So I give you something to look forward to. Okay. Who wants to be in the drawing? I'll be doing a drawing right now. Uh, Jack the Fox, of course, will have the drawing done also during the stream right now. Uh, but I want to go ahead and get the drawing out of the way. So uh, somebody has something to look forward to during the official, uh, of course, the drawing. I am a disorganized person, but I do apologize for that. Uh, yeah, so uh, get my chair up properly. Holy heck, my search history. That is some disturbing stuff. Good grief. All right. Uh, go to uh, random name generator. Random name generator wheel. Is this it? Yep, this is it. I really like this uh, name generator. So yes, um, whoever would like to be in this drawing to win art pieces, such as you see here, uh, these art pieces here are what you could win. Pieces like so. You got pieces like this. You could win. All of these are traditional. Eventually, I will introduce digital uh, for the live streams eventually. But for this time, we have the, of course, uh, what you have there, of course. Also, how is the uh, camera work looking on this uh, on this live stream? I want to make sure the camera looks looks good. How the heck do you get this to leave? Why does my live stream keep trying to kill me? So yeah. Kitsu uh, Kitsuin or Kitsu sorry Kitsu An Kitsuin. Hello. Slowly we slowly breaking coaster with arms. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm caught up. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, you want pieces like those, you got pieces like this, pieces like so. And then this one's the most recent one, one of the recent ones I've done. This piece here, of course. But I, I really would like to know can everybody see the stream okay? Is it pixelated or anything like that? I definitely do not want to have a pixelated stream if it is pixelated. Um, so, just in case it is, I'm going to go ahead and. <laughs> We're going to have a running joke about my arm now. <laughs> so, yes. Um... Type 333 for legs. <laughs> there you go, 333. But uh, yes, for real. Um, here it goes. Doing drawings. Um, yeah, I'm um, drawing a random 
the wheel of randomness is what I call it, what we do for uh, for name drawings. Uh, who would like to be in this drawing to win a free piece of art? I'm going to uh, leave it open for, for about 60 seconds before I go and give the wheel a spin. Uh, who would like to be in it? Say yes, like enter me, or yes, I want to be in it. All right, Guppy Vlogs. Okay, oh, perfect, perfect. We got some names. Holy hecky, man. Whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. I, I see, we got, oh my gosh, we got a great deal of people in here. Perfect, perfect. So we got, go and get Guppy Vlogs. I will let you know when everyone's name has been typed in. So Guppy Vlogs. Soon in. Soon in. Being added as well. Boop, 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 ba -doop. Also, but while I'm getting this ready for you, I'll go ahead and let you know a little bit about myself in case you're wondering. Uh, I am a course and an artist. I do YouTube um, streams, vlogs, I do reviews, and I also have, of course, my very own fursuit that I made myself. I um, am a part time fursuiter. Uh, of course, during these times, you know, fursuiting isn't something that you can do quite as much of, like going to events and such, but I still make do with what I can with on YouTube and such. I also work part-time as, uh, excuse me, I also work full-time as a cook at my local grocery store. But what I really would like to be doing with my life is YouTubing and eventually, eventually uh, gaming on the channel. I recently purchased a gaming computer PC, so eventually I will be having um, Let's Plays on this channel and post, hopefully, even be streaming some of those Let's Plays so I can engage with you as, as I play. So I'm really, I'm relatively new to the overall um, gaming experience, but I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I think I've got all the names in here. Kit. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so Guppy Vlogs. Guppy Vlogs, you're outside. Oh no! A server based around coasters on stream. <laughs> Arms, you just want to see like, like my arms on camera, like arms. I got ugly arms. My arms are arms are ugly. <laughs> uh Discord. I actually do have Discord. I'm not a hundred percent sure really how to get that set up, like a group chat and such. But I'm I'm I, I know somebody that uses Discord, so they could help me uh, set it up. It, Just have my YouTube icon, just my arms in the picture. You just see arms. <laughs> okay, so um, I think everybody's in here that I need to be. Let's see. You want arms. <laughs> Making sure that this person's in here also. Okay, so this is what I have. I have uh, Guppy Vlogs, Kit, uh, Paulo... Santana, Guppy Vlogs, Harrison. Sorry, I got Guppy Vlogs in there twice. Let me go ahead and. Sorry. Okay. Guppy Vlogs, Kit, Paulo Santana, Harrison Peloso, Paulo Santana. Got that. And um, who else? Um, so we got one, two, we got five names in there. I think that's everybody. Uh, Oh, we got the DJM Workshop. Enter you as well. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Okay. Aim for the wheel. You're here for the arms. <laughs> All right, so I got it. So six names on the wheel. All right, and well, I got to adjust this music. It's a little bit. A little heavy on the language. There we go. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Oh, you want to stay in touch outside of my streams? Uh, I do. Okay, I do have. Heck. Um, I okay. I my social media links are in the description of my live stream. I have, of course, I have Twitter. I have Telegram, and then of course I have. I don't think I have Facebook on there. But I, I guess I should get a Discord, so uh, like a Discord chat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give the wheel a spin, and uh, whoever's in it will, of course, uh, of course, um, get a chance at winning some free art. Does Coaster have his own 
in real life coaster. You mean like my fursuit or do you mean my like a coaster that I put a drink on? Because I actually have both. <laughs> yes. This is my fursuit, actually. Let's go ahead and show everyone really fast. This actually is. Yep, that's actually my fursuit. Hello. <laughs> So yeah, let me go ahead and check my connection very quickly first. Okay, good. It, it reconnected. I was just making sure I had reconnected. Oh, that's why I, my light stream looks so wonky. Okay, my bad. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this, the random wheel spinning right now. Whoever, of course, wanted to be in it. No more entries. We have the total we need. We have Guppy Balls, uh, Kit, Paulo Santana, Harrison Beloso, Paulo Santana. I got Paulo Santana in there twice. I don't know why he did that. And then we got the uh, JDM workshop. So we got our names in there. I'm going to give the wheel spin, and I'll let you all see what's going to happen, of course. Wait, let me turn it so you can actually see like I am seeing it. All right, everyone ready? Here we go with the wheel spin. Three, two, one, spinning the wheel. Who's going to be the lucky winner today? Congratulations, Guppy Vlogs. You are the winner. Guppy Vlogs, you have won a slot for a free piece of artwork during this live stream uh, that will be taking place here in just shortly after I finish uh, Jack the Fox's art piece. But you are a winner. Uh, just please send me your ref of your original character or your persona, if you have a ref to my social link down below, um, you can either be Telegram or you can send it to my business email that's also listed down there. Uh, go ahead and get that set up and um, we'll carry on our conversation there. Uh, that way we can, of course, uh, get the drawing started for you. So congratulations, Guppy Vlogs, you are a winner. I'm going to go ahead and get this computer set back up right again. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to charge my phone because my phone likes to eat a battery a lot because it's a Galaxy S8 Plus. It's a, it's a classic. It's basically an antique phone. <laughs> it's from 2017. It's not an antique, but it's, it's getting there. <laughs> it's getting old. Anyway. <clears throat> Drawing time! Time to do some draws. Okay. Got our lighting. Shadow looks pretty good. And we're using the uh, Zebra Mechanical Pencil. It's a uh, 0.5 millimeter lead. So it's extremely thin, but it does a great job at sketching. So yeah, we got that part. And here we go. I uh, definitely hope that you enjoy this piece. I know it's going to be uh, quite fun to draw. So. And all this is going to be freehand except the circle. The circle is the only thing that I used a compass for because of gears. I like to make sure my gears are nice and circular. Anything I draw a circle, it's nice to have things drawn as a circle. And you would, you, if there's anyone new to the stream right now, you will not believe the, the hacking terrible time I had setting up this camera to get it where it's orientated so you can actually see it the way you're supposed to see it instead of looking at the, the drawing upside down. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was something. I was trying to get that to rotate. It was acting all weird. But here it is. We actually managed to get this to work. I'm actually going to draw little circles for these gears. Actually, no. Circles is not a good idea. We'll not do circles. We'll do triangles. Of course, uh, these drawings that you do when, of course, are done through artistic liberty, so... I literally come up with the idea that I feel best for the art piece because these are free. Uh, but I definitely enjoy drawing for you, and um, I definitely hope you enjoy the drawings that I create for you. These are safe for work drawings, so sorry for those that like, you know, something a little more intense. But it's, I like the expression I can give an art piece, uh, the freedom. <laughs> email in the description? Yes, email is in the description. Hello, Peppermint Cookie. Good morning. 
Yeah, I do have Discord. Um, on Discord, I'm trying to remember. I think it's uh, Coaster T Fox eight eight nine four is my is my Discord uh, connect. I recently just downloaded Discord like yesterday because I haven't used it in forever. So yeah, but yeah, it's that. That's a thing. I'm also trying to make sure I get these gears to work properly. <laughs> How many gears do I have? Like one, two, three, four. A lot. I have a lot of gears. A lot of gears, gears. Uh, there's a there's a, a virtual furcon that's happening. Uh, I think it's called Ferality. Uh, if any of you are interested in knowing more about that, check out the YouTube channel Grovel the Husky. He does a lot of uh, reports and a lot of updates of uh, different virtual furcons that are happening. Uh, so you can actually check out his channel and, uh, you know, or check out, you know, whenever you can do it after the stream now and come back to the stream. Um, but if you're looking for something fun to do this summer, uh, his channel is really great at looking at the different reports he has. I actually know Gravel personally, which is really, really nice guy or nice, uh, nice friend. He's been uh, helping me learn my uh, learn computers and help me set up my discord because I'm not super duper savvy with computers but i definitely hope to get better at this definitely hope so take my brain slow <laughs> your brain is slow mine is too so please don't feel bad like my brain is like yeah but i had caffeine earlier so that should help like i had some caffeine caffeine like is my lifeline like oh my gosh like, too much caffeine is bad for me, but if I, uh, like, you know, sometimes I just need that edge. Because I could not draw without caffeine. If I didn't have a caffeine, I would not be able to draw. Like, I can, I can my drawings go from what, you, what I've shown you to stick figures without my caffeine. Like, I cannot draw a thing without my caffeine. And I'm a tea fox, so I, of course, drink my tea. I drink black tea, green tea. Uh, even white tea. White tea is very nice, very smooth. Um, I've had... I love herbal teas, especially the Celestial Tea brands. They're like one of my favorites. Uh, very nice. Spearmint is sensational. It goes really great with a lot of things. You can cross-mix. I like to mix my teas together a lot. It's pretty nice. Okay, I think the gears are going to be good enough. I don't want to go crazy with it. I think that's going to be decent enough. Okay, now the internal gear has already been drawn. The internal circle. Oh gosh, I hope I do well with this. Man. Yeah. This is going to be an icon for uh, for Jack, uh, Jack the Fox, so I hope he likes it. Oh, the Discord is uh, 8894 hash... No, sorry, sorry, it's a uh, coaster... T Fox, that's Coaster, capital C O A S T E R, space, capital T E A, capital F O X. No space between that last word. And then, of course, the number is hashtag 8894. That's my, uh, my Discord. Um, I won't be on Discord during the stream, unfortunately, but I can definitely uh, pop in there after the stream because I have so many projects going on. It's like I. I definitely feel I take on too many projects like at a time, but it's part of you know part of doing YouTube and just part of creating. You're always always creating something, you know. Okay, so we got that part. Go ahead and Get that part looking good there. That's Also, if you will, you will probably notice that my sketches are very rough. I'm a very rough sketcher. 
and then I polish everything once I get these uh, details down. I always tend to draw very rough. And my apologies if it if it uh, bothers anyone or anything. Coaster, I need to accept. Oh. Uh, are you, did you send it via Twitter, uh, Guppy Vlogs? If you sent it Twitter, that's, I can go ahead and, uh, take care of that right now if you sent it, uh, through Twitter. I want to look at your reference here. Um, oh my gosh, I have a lot of notifications. Let's take a look. Let's see who... Let me take a look back over here at the chat. Yeah, if you... Oh, on Discord. Um, I don't have Discord on my desktop, but if you have Telegram, or if you just have an act, a way to send me a an email, you can send your ref to me that way. Uh, I will connect with you. I will connect with you more in person after the stream, because um, like like right now, the only way I can access Discord is through my phone, and that's what I'm recording from. But I will definitely uh, look into that and uh, accept your friend request as soon as the stream is over. I will. I'll look into that for you because I definitely want to, um, you know, definitely want you to um, be able to take part in that. Um, excuse me. Yeah, email's perfectly fine. Yeah, email sounds great. Um, just looking at Jack the Fox's ref. Jack the Green Fox. Such a good green fox. Yes, you are. I'm looking at your ref right now. Okay, here's the ref. The ref. I do need to draw more because I feel like I'm not. I don't. I, I don't think it's that I don't draw as well as I used to. It's just my style has kind of changed over time. I feel like the style's changed. I'm not quite sure why it's done that. It's strange, you know. Okay, so I got that. Sure, get the nose looking good. I will widen his eyes just a little bit. They're a little too narrow for my taste, and give the eyes a little more life, and the eyebrows as well. So we got center eye, top eye, top eye as well. I don't like how I did the 
eyebrow. I definitely want to brighten that up a little bit. I'm going to try to get it like the rough, but I'm also going to try to add my own expression to this as well. I'm just going to make your eyes a little bigger. Just a little bigger. There we go. That's the height we needed. I do like that. Okay, now we can do the um paw to the face would look great. That I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it, which is awesome. Okay. Ears are very tall, which is fine. I like that. I do like how your ears are nice and tall. Just getting the overall look that we're looking for here. Um, I'll go ahead and pencil in some hair also as well. Kind of get the overall look we need. I see you got some nice long locks of hair, so I'll add those as well. So we got hair, that's decent. your ear is going to be hidden behind the cog. I'm also going to check uh, comments here again because I don't want to keep people hanging in the chat and see how everyone's going. Your Amazon package came? Cool, what did you get? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you had to... I'm sorry, sorry you were busy. Uh, you know, when you get a break, you know, that's totally fine. There's no rush. I'll be, I'll be here for, for a, a little while at least. <clears throat> Uh, Jack the Fox, if you are watching this, it, are your ears tall? Are they tall enough for this? Because I know your reference has got uh, relatively uh, relatively tall ears for a fox in your ref, which is totally fine. I could definitely make them a little bigger. Like in reference to your hair, they definitely look a little tall. And you know what? I'll go ahead and actually accentuate that because they look really nice. I really do like how they look with that height. So let me bring that up just a little bit more. I'm saying I like that look a lot, actually. It's pretty nice. I actually like that look.
There we go. But we're still keeping the hair intact. We're not changing the hair. The hair's still there. Which I think looks really cool. Paws a little bigger, a little too small. In my, my regard, just a little on the small side. Just broaden that up a little bit more and then just bring in those lines a little more. There we go. It'll all make sense in just a bit. That's a, that's a much better looking paw, much larger. And we've got five fingers on your Sona, so we'll go with five fingers. I'm actually giving you feral paws. I hope you're okay with that, because it's just the sign I was going with tonight. There we go. I guess we can go with that. Tilt the angle just a little more. I feel like I'm messing up here. One line. There, now it looks a little bit more three dimensional. Okay. There we go. Uh, I don't see claws, so I'll even call this for now unless you want claws. I have no issues with withdrawing your claws if you want claws. I'm just trying to get this angle right. Sometimes I just I make my own 
drawing is more difficult for myself sometimes. Aha, I figured it out. I haven't drawn this kind of style in a long time, so it's a little tricky for me sometimes. Okay, I think I figured it out. Give a little more bend to the hand, and it looks a little more natural that way. There we go, okay. All right, so we got that part. I'm gonna add some cute teethers, teeth, as I normally do. It's normally how I do it anyway, just add some little cute teeth. Just some small ones. And then of course the upper ones as well. Uh, if it looks too much like a cat, I, can, I will adjust it accordingly. There we go. That should help with that issue of it looking like a cat a little. Okay. I don't want to look too kitty cat looking. Even though you do have oval eyes, which is totally fine. Like, at least in the reference, they look oval. I have no it, pro, I have no issues with drawing, like, the oval look. Like, I think it looks kind of nice. Is it? Oh, it's almost nine o'clock. My time, of course. I think it looks pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and add the rest of the stuff we need. I'll just do a little more touch up on the hair really fast. I want to make it flow a little better if I can. Just get a little more of that flow going on there. Uh, I'm not very good at drawing here, am I? <laughs> there we go. Better. Oh, I think my mate just arrived home. Cool. I hope they had a good day at work. That part. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish up the cog. Um, draw a little bit of neck floof in there as well, just a little bit. That's your stuff upstairs. For you. It's a little strange now, doesn't it? Let me try to get the anatomy right here. So you got one paw going like this, and you got one paw going the other way. Yeah, anatomy is just a hair off. It's fine, I'll fix that. There we go. Just hide that part. And then it should work just fine. Just bring back the shoulder a little bit. All right, we're ready for inking. Go ahead and ink this piece. Let's see, we got one eye here, the other eye here. Size looks pretty relevant, which is good. So make sure the eyes are big enough. So like that eye's nice and big. Uh, reference looks pretty good. One eye is blue, the other eye is green.
Hey, Carol the Arctic Fox, how are you doing tonight? My son is also an Arctic Fox, by the way. An Arctic, uh, blue Arctic tea fox. You say your head hurts? Your hab, hands, your hands hurt. Take your time. I'll be there in just a bit. I noticed one thing about the uh, the cheek. I just want to make sure I'm adding that right kind of motion where the hand is pressing up on it. So it actually gives it like the slight lopsided look. I think that works. So the eye looks even more squished in a way, like in a good way, not squished in a bad way at all. More squished. Sometimes more squish is good. Because I don't want my drawings to be stiff, because sometimes I've noticed I've had a like issues with my drawings just looking stiff sometimes. And stiff drawings aren't fun. You don't want a stiff drawing. Okay, ready for inking. Um. <laughs> what? Yeah, peppermint cookie, what do you like? Besides peppermint cookies. Yay! Do you like peppermint cookies? If you ever had peppermint chocolate cookies, I think those are really nice. So you got uh, 1.5. Uh, 0.5. It's actually a good number. I think I'll start with 0.5. Uh, also, Jack the Green Fox, are you in chat right now? Because I'm I'm going to ask if you want claws on your on your paws. No claws. Okay, I see what you said. I checked I checked back on chat. No claws. You got it. No claws. Yep, I've definitely got that for you. Uh, what else am I missing here? I'll make these palms just a hair larger. Just a little larger. Not much, just, just a slight bit. To, add, to get the proper amount of depth. Uh, you got a highlight here. Highlight here. Let me the highlights. Try to make them as uh, symmetrical as possible. Okay, here comes the fun part, the inking. This is like the best part. You get to ink everything. Whew, I'm freaking nervous about this, believe it or not. Something about this is just different. Something feels a little different about this. It's such a strange way. Strokes of fur right there. I think everything looks anatomically correct at this point. So here it goes. Gosh, I'm so freaking nervous. This will start with the nose first. Good news. Uh, do you, you're asking if I watch anime? I, I um, not as a rule, but I, I have watched some anime. Like I'm not against anime at all. There's just some that I prefer. Um, like, I do like Berserk. Ber Berserk's actually really good. It's a classic uh, 90s anime. It's pretty good. I would recommend checking it out if you're into that thing. Uh, right. uh, I don't even know really how to describe how it's good. It's just, it is. Like, check it out. Uh, good storyline set in medieval times. Uh, but it's actually, uh, the story is well-driven. Uh, Story of lost power, love, uh, the ability to overcome the obstacles, and even um, 
Gosh, I wish there was someone here that, that actually knows about Berserk so they could explain it. Like, my mate knows about it really well. I'm not super great at explaining anime. It, it's very, it has a very human aspect to it that you can relate to, which is, I think, really makes it good. That ability to be able to relate to it. Okay. But, uh, I know that I know uh, the, one of the characters I really do like. His name is Guts. He has a hecking huge sword. Oh my gosh, it's taller than he is. And like the angrier he gets, the bigger his sword gets, which is freaking amazing. I think it's pretty cool. Oh no, he died. I'm sorry. Gosh, I didn't know. Holy heck. Wow. Gee whiz. And believe it or not, one of actually, even though he became a traitor. So this is a spoiler. If anybody is spo uh, this is a spoiler. I apologize for spoiling this for anyone. But Griffith, um, one of my favorite characters, um, became a traitor later on. Actually became a demon. It's a shame because he had so much potential. I really thought he was going to take the right path, but he just uh, he had gone through a lot, and I think he thought this is his only way to achieve his dream of power, of ascending to greatness. And it was like almost like a prophecy that foretold like he was going to be what he became, and he just accepted that fate and just became this. I'm just like, no, Griffith, no. Oh my gosh. It's like the ultimate femboy, but powerful and skilled in all weaponry. And a very conniving, but also very elegant way of getting what he getting what he wants, but he has a way of doing it with honor, but also dishonor at the same time. It's the strangest thing. Like gotta see it. It's really it's it's really well made. Definitely recommend it. that uh go ahead and do the eyes next also i apologize if i if i talk too much i don't want to mess up anybody's time because if you're watching this and you're on a time budget i don't want to hold anyone up or anything I like to make the eye shines a little too bold with my liner pen, so I'm going to knock it down to a thinner type pen. Even though technically this won't make a huge difference, I just like to make sure I'm being as fine tipped as possible when necessary, especially in these little detailed areas. It just makes make it, it can make a world of difference. It really can. Like that little tiny pick of information right there. Okay, now I'm switching back to the point five. Back to the point five. Back to the point five. Yeah, point five. I haven't done digital art in a while, like actual, like super detailed drawings of digital art, and I should. I feel like I've gotten rusty at it because I, I tried doing some digital art last night, and it kind of just—I don't know. It just—I felt like it did. It just felt like it was hard to learn again. Like, like trying to pursue it. I'm like, gosh, I don't remember this being this difficult before. Just like trying to get back in the groove of it again. Yeah. Anyway, but other than that, 
It's not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's like when I go to the inking stage, that's when I know exactly how to line something. That's when I know exactly how the anatomy is supposed to look. It's the weirdest thing. It's like now it makes sense. Like, it's so strange. I guess it's just how it is when you draw something, you just kind of pick up on what's supposed to go where as you as you go with it, I guess. I suppose that's how it goes. <laughs> so there's that. Mmm, muffins. My family has a mixed has mixed options on transgender people. Your family? Like, like what is that? Like, you have full guppy vlogs, you have full attraction to men. Interesting. Like, I don't have a problem with, with trans people either. Like, like I don't not what's there to have a problem with exactly. Like, I mean, I don't really have it. Like, it's, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, they, that you should serve them like in public. Like, if you're just not. I don't really understand what the issue is. Like, for in, for my experience, like with me, I don't have an issue. So. I'm not trying to say an issue doesn't exist, but like for myself, I don't have an issue with them. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll go and get back to this. I don't want to hold up anyone's time or anything. I gotta switch to a smaller pen because this thing's just way too bold. Because if you if you remember my uh, the inking pens I used in my other speed drawings or my other uh, live streams. They were different. They weren't as bold. Even though it was the same uh, the same number ahead, it just wasn't nearly as bold. You know, I'm fine with this pen. It's just a little bolder than I was expecting it to be. That's all. There we go. Get those nice swoops of fluff in there. I love fluffy fur. Heck, I love fluffy fur. See, now it's not bold enough. I wonder if there's something else I can go to. I wonder if... Is point 0.3 a good choice? Let me see what point 0.3 looks like. Compared to point 0.5. Oh! I should have been using point 0.3 all this time. Point 0.3 is even finer tip than point 0.5. I should have just been using that. I don't know why I wasn't. Hmm. I guess I'm not that... I guess I'm not that smart. <laughs> or something. That's much better. Oh my gosh, yes. Definitely using this one. Huge, huge difference. Oh, I love it. Heck yes. Oh my gosh, yes. This is beautiful. I love it. It's so good. Like it's actually getting the detail it needs, which is freaking awesome. Love it. Okay. Ah, uh, the eyes, the eyes. One of the sometimes one of the most hardest things to draw on something is like getting those eyes right. 
Okay, so the highlights go about there. Okay. The eyes might be just a hair off, but you're not going to notice it because of the, the color scheme we're using. Yes. I'm going to zoom in on Jack's eyes really fast. Okay. So you do have it. Okay. Oh, so the whites of your eyes are actually colored. And then the pupil is dark. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Totally got it. Yeah, I, I can. Heck, I can do that. I mean, it's already set up, so that's not an issue. Uh, let's do the uh, let's do the hair next. Let's do the hair. Gosh, I hacking love this pen. It's so smooth. Like I freaking love it. Your hair looks really nice. I do like the hair a lot on this piece. Go and get that other ear on there. Make sure that you look good. You're safe now. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to check chat in the past to make sure everybody's doing well. With the coaster, anything safe for work will be drawn. Yes, of course. <laughs> I don't know how to draw not safe for work. It's too hard. <laughs> oh, hi there. You got your cookies? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad you got your cookies. That's good. You're right. Mm. Hmm? <clears throat> the whites of your eyes are white, then the color part them. Then the colored part, then the black part. Okay, I think I get what you're saying. Let me look at your reference again really fast here. Uh, I see you updated your icon. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so your iris, your iris is colored. And then the center is a dark pupil, is the black pupil. So whites of the eyes, colored iris, black pupil. Is that correct? Just want to make sure I'm hearing correctly. I'm sorry, it's, it's, don't worry, it's not a confusion, not at all. I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing the right thing for you.
I actually get the camera to turn around. Look at that. See, now it's facing the right way. <laughs> but it, it was like shaking like a hurricane earlier. It was crazy. I'm trying to get it right. I'm going to, oh, no. Safe and safe. The right ear is cut off because it's 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 underneath or behind. It's the behind the structure. Thing. So you're actually at a slight angle. One ear's behind, the other's in front. Mm -hmm. Because the characters turn slightly. They're actually turned. It's part of the uh, the illusion to give it depth. Because if I was to have both ears in front, the image may look a little too squashed inside of the cog, if that makes sense. Like, too, basically too much going on if I was to have that ear in front of it, so I've pushed it to the background a little bit. <clears throat> Yay! Oh, snap. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'll start working on the uh, the cog... Be, hmm, hey, might, tater. might be a little tater. Tater's here? <gasps> tater, hi! Welcome tater did to the stream. Thank you for doing uh, Fen's uh, sticker. Also, looks really nice. Thank you. Okay. I'm not cold. It's I know. You're not cold. whining now because I hyperventilated twice at work. <laughs> I understand. I know you're I'm not trying to like. I'm just, I understand. I understand. Tater, at some point, you know, I'm going to commission you to draw facetious once I have his rough sheet. <laughs> okay, uh, drawing this circle is going to be a challenge. But I'm going to try it. Here we go. Deep breath. <sighs> Whew, that took all of my effort to just not take a breath. <laughs> Oh, and also, Tater, I'll yeah. let you have... Oh, they're talking uh, to me, sorry. Note, Tater, because I, I, I told them that uh, I wanted them to draw facetious. I'll let Tater have artistic liberty to do what they please with him. Mm. So, they because I know Tater's got a probably a, a, a nice assortment of ideas with him. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say I not I don't know how some artists draw these sweeping circles with perfect accuracy in a rock solid hand. I have to literally hold my breath to get this to keep my pen from wobbling because my own pulse actually makes mm -hmm. the line wobble. But I don't think that's too bad considering I've never drawn a, a circle hand. like tracing a circle like this big as large. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm going to finish up the cog. I will add some shines to the cog as well. Uh, 
Oh, that yeah. sounds wonderful. How's the baby look? Good baby? Mm -hmm. I am turning this upside down for just a moment. So please bear with me as I draw the cards. Trying to make these all look the same is going to be one heck of a challenge. Because in my mind, as I draw, I keep flipping the image. Inversion, like invert, expert, invert, expert, or uh, is that even a word? Expert. Well, basically, uninvert, more or less. I mean, they're not the best looking cards. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying to make them look good though. I will try my best. I probably should have made a, temp a paper template and then just held it up to the edge so it would have gotten consistent lines. But I'll do that next time if I draw something like this. Because doing it right now is gonna be like, what do I use? Like a piece of paper. Well, actually, I do have this. Hmm. If I only had a pair of scissors, I could actually just create that. Huh. Because I don't want this to look all wobbly. Let me try something really fast. There's a waxy side and a non waxy side. We'll go with the non waxy side. I can't really see through the drawing, but you know, the heck with it. It's not too bad. I want to do this for the pieces so I get accuracy. So I'll just do a second. I'm going to grab my scissors and snip this. I should get my knee. Okay, this is going to look really weird, but this is what I'm using to create the cogs. Uh, this right here. See how it's got the little uh, divot? That should allow me to replicate these exactly each time. So, let's give it a go. Let's see how it works. I love the number three, by the way. Number three works really well. Mm. Okay, so basically I just hold it up to the spot. Well, this one's already been started, so I'm going to have to just go ahead and finish this one. Okay. And then, go ahead and just... Okay. <laughs> Canada's got the polar bear migration. Polar bear migration? Yeah. What are they usually, up to? Well, usually they they walk through probably about maybe a couple towns or whatever. Mm -hmm, People mm -hmm. stand outside just to watch them mm -hmm. walk. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with them? Are they endangered or anything? No, they just oh. sit there. They, that's it's a normal thing that they usually oh, do. Okay, I they, thought there was they, an, they were endangered or something. No. Okay, that's cool. It's something that I do remember watching off of uh, National Geographic. Thing. Was it National Geographic? No, well, I think it, I think it was over. Um, I think we went on Travel Channel. Oh, that's pretty cool. Travel Channel is like your more modernized, not as boring history channel, oh. <laughs> so to speak. Where it also has um, some potato chips. I didn't have any. Oh, I think it's from the candy bar from earlier. Could be. Mm. Have a drink. Yeah, get it. Go and grab a drink. I don't know. I break the only break I have. I'm sorry. Bathroom break. That was the only one I had. <laughs> uh, oh. 
All right, then. let's see how we're doing this. Here's snip that. And snip that. And snip that. And then we'll just estimate the size of this. It'll all make sense here in just a moment. Now, what kind of weird going to have to happen later? Uh, where? From where? When I went to Friendly's yesterday. Ah, of course. Did you take him home with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can have him now if you want. Look at it. The cog is coming out a lot better. The cogs look much better with this little uh, little idea. It's still got a lo little ways to go, but it's a little better. If I mess up, though, I'll just correct it. There I go. <laughs> it's almost like how digital art works, where you take your image and you just press the uh, rotate button as you go. Trying to get that uh, pristine look. Packets slipping around a little bit. It's getting there. <laughs> Let's see if I can connect this to make this look accurate. We'll try. Oh, uh, well, it's not too bad, I guess. A little overlap. But... Hey, it's it's that uh, traditional organic look. Where is everyone from? Taylor, you know where I'm from. <laughs> I'm from else, we're all from we're all I from think one, one's from Canada, the other one's from the Philippines. I think Toronto? Tim Hortons in Toronto. Also, Carol Arctic Fox, uh, how's the weather in Canada? Because I've I've wanted to travel there one day and just see what it's like. Because I love cold weather, so I'll just go ahead and give you a heads up. I love cold weather. That's my that's my jam. I mean, it doesn't have to be brutally cold, but I do like it to be crisp, like a like a autumn's day, like an autumn's day in PA. For those of you that have uh, been to PA, if any of you have, or at least in the uh, mid Atlantic states. Yeah. Hmm, how's this supposed to work? -y? Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. I think I can manage though. I'm probably just gonna thicken that line a little bit to help hide that uh the mistakes. Yeah. Because cogs, you can definitely do it with something like a cog since it's a very mechanical piece. It's very inorganic. Definitely uh, do that part. Oh, would you mind? Yeah. Heck, never mind. I'll leave yeah. the I'll leave the ceiling light on. I was I forgot to turn that off, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the art too bad. Is that again? Is that Don't worry about it. It'll, it'll, it's fine. I'll keep it consistent. Yeah, it's totally fine. Thanks for uh, for offering. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and snip this. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go in there with a the darker marker and just touch that up then a little bit later. <laughs> you need some foot massages. I need everything. Oh, the poor tiny. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of my baby. A little snack. The snack that smiles back. This is, I guess, this is technically cheating on on art. You know, mm, is it? I mean, well, mm, it's not. It's not a stencil. Well, actually, it is a stencil. I don't really know how else to how else to put it. Like, I mean, it definitely helps. It definitely, definitely makes a big difference in the art piece. So, I'll take it as you will. I guess. Frick, messed up. It's slick on one side. But like I said, I'll go over it with a dark marker behind those little mistake lines. <clears throat> oh, we're almost done with the, the cogs. Sweetness.
and we'll just we'll just find the middle ground with a thick marker. Um, we're almost ready to start coloring, which is fantastic. I'm glad we're actually making good progress with that at least. Coloring. Okay, uh, thicker marker. 0.5 is not thick enough. Let's go with. I'm talking. We got to go really thick on this. So let's go with. Huh. What's an 01 look like? Oh, that's really fine. Uh, off the top hand, what is the thick what is the thickest of these markers, would you say? I know zero zero five is the thinnest. Uh is it going down the number? It gets thicker or going up the number? It's going up the number it gets thicker. So an eight would be thicker? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, eight's eight is pretty thick actually. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, thick, with five C's, tater, thick. Oh, yes, I actually, yes, my thickness level has gone up probably by about two or three C's lately. Because of all the, the good foods I'm in, in, ingesting. Where did I just... That. <laughs> what happened? Did it go somewhere? Yeah, I don't know where I sent that link to. Oh, put it in my saved rather than my art channel. Uh, like, Just randomly someone, send it to a friend. If someone, if someone like has like a, a free base or like a pay to use base or whatever for Pride Month, I sit there. I will share it on my art channel. Oh yeah, of course. So people can use that and make sure that they um makes sense. Yeah, credit the original line work artist. Yeah. That sounds great. So that's... We are able to touch that up just a little. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, hi, Harrison. Oh, Harrison. This is hello, other person and other person. That is my meat. That is... Uh, well, oh. tell them who you are. <laughs> Partner that is gender fluid. partner in crime. So I am, I I can't lock onto a single gender identity. So today I I am a uh, stress. I'll, I'll identify as stress and anxiety. I can't I can't I can't lock on anything else. That's fine. Ugh. You're okay. No harm done. I don't feel okay. Sorry, I just need to make sure nothing bumps into my arm when I'm drawing. Sorry. Here we go. That's pretty decent, I suppose. Once I get done this part, the rest of this will go along a lot more speedily. Much more speedily. The Grand Potato Master. <clears throat> the only time I identify as a threat is if I'm mad enough. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for the idea, Tater. <laughs> I think I already did that yesterday, to be honest. Am I a threat? You're a little tea bag. Thank you. I'm the tea cup. Okay.
I had some tea earlier, actually, right before the stream, so I'm feeling pretty good. I guess. Ooh, made a purple raccoon. That sounds wonderful. Um, uh, looking for. That was the first. Two thousand two hundred fifty dollars for shipping and handling. It's a beautiful, beautiful raccoon. That was really nice. It's airbrush too. Yeah. There is with the mouth Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And this looks wet, like it's real. Pardon my accent breaking through like that. Gosh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> like meeting people? Streams are always good ways to meet people. Cons are better because you get meet them in person. Uh, true. Uh, I don't. I couldn't have said it better myself. Really. Uh, see, what, what's nice about uh, the streams is uh, it builds up that anticipation until you actually can meet that person. Also, too, you always know where that person is because you're talking to them in stream. When you go to a convention, it could be hours before you run into that person. But when you do, it is worth it, it is worth the wait. Actually, finally get to meet the person, hang out. Just I would definitely recommend planning before if you have something you want to do together. Plan beforehand so there's not a a, a potential thing where the person's already made plans and you're not going to have time to hang out with them. Just make sure you plan ahead with you, if you plan on doing that, meeting them in person at a convention. Because you would not believe how quickly the register can can fill up of your your daily plans. Like you have this, you want to do this, you want to do, it, and then it's like, oh gosh, I have no time to eat. I have no time to to shower. I have no time to whatever. And then you're like, if you have a first suit, you're first suiting for like eight hours, and you forgot to eat, and you're just like, and then you get lost, and your handler's missing, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't even touch my phone, and your phone's dead. You're just, and then you come back to the hotel room, and you just crash. You're just like exhausted. <laughs> And everybody's like, hey, you want to go out? And you're just like, ugh. My ankles hurt. <laughs> I could easily roll mine just in a second if I'm not careful. Or if you are a person that, for some reason, drinks a lot at conventions, you are completely, like, wasted. And you still have some somehow some ability to wander out of the hotel room and go hotel out with room? hotel room. What's a hotel? Hotel. I mean, hell, hotel. Hotel. Hotel room. You never sleep. You never slept. You never sleep. <laughs> sleep. We're all just trying to get through the day. I about passed out while working today, so it's great. I know you had a wrong thing. I know you did. I just want to be punched in the throat instead of going back. No, there. you didn't. Yes, I do. I know what that's like. And I'll take that again any given day of the week and go back to work. Just don't say things there. You know, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Who said that? I was going to punch myself in the throat. I'll willingly sit there. And get and get paid by letting people have free shots at my throat. I I'll, I'll let it happen. I feel like you would hit back though. No, I'd let this one happen. I'd let this happen. Maybe we should have a uh, stream donations. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just kidding. No, that totally fine. <laughs> Dear goodness. Like five dollars for a free shot to punch you in the <laughs> I don't I would never do that though. Oh, there was a Pride uh festival over in uh, Gettysburg. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Oh. Craven's giving me pictures. How many days is it for? I think only just that day. Oh. Was it today? Yep. I couldn't go. Technically never mind. No. No. It's too late to go over there. Never too late to celebrate. Happy Pride Month. Well, yeah, but for around I know, here. I'm just... I'm just I mean, there's probably other festivals. I know Frederick County has one, like, I think next week or something. 
I'm not sure. It's like they have them all the time, I think. I think Pittsburgh even has something. Does anyone know if Pittsburgh has some kind of a parade festival going on or something? I'm not really sure. Because I know last year it was kind of like everything was strapped down with, you know, with, you know, the, uh, the, to the toilet paper, you know, epidemic and everything. I'm just going to call it that because that's basically what happened. Like everybody's scrambling. And it's like, there's no toilet paper for 100 miles. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like you have to bargain like gold to buy toilet paper. Or should I need or should I call it broth tissue? Rubbing alcohol and toilet paper were like the hand sanitizer, the necessities that nobody had. Or everybody had too much of it, stocking up on it. Anywho, I do thank everyone for being patient in the stream, of course. Uh, I really enjoy you all being here tonight. Good, good, Jack. I'm glad you're enjoying this, Jack. I, I'm enjoying it as well. I feel like if I don't use my brain to actually create something, I feel like it gets stale, and I just kind of like, yeah, like it gets. Like it starts to melt or something. Hmm. Smashing. Okay, the clog is finished with that, that dark outline. <clears throat> Just take one more spot up here and it'll be complete. Okay. All right, now we're going to do some coloring. We're ready for coloring. <clears throat> it's actually uh, turned out better than I expected, so that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, use this uh, eraser. This is a plastic eraser. It's actually made from vinyl. Basically, and uh, what I do is I just erase my pencil lines and everything else stays. All the inking lines get to stay. I uh, just got to draw in these areas here really quick. I almost forgot to add those. Just a minute. Okay. All right, and these fur areas that I almost forgot to add. Okay, so we got our fur. No rule. <laughs> That's cute. 
Yes, yeah, so this is one RP. Wait, let me grab them real quick. What? Okay, then, let's erase. Let's do this. The sticker of the hyena writing on the, on the paper, paper is a hyena picture, and it says that says no role play. And he goes, oh. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, and then we'll just add some color in, and then this piece will be completo. Neato completo. I just gotta be careful his ears added that extra dark that it doesn't smudge, smudge of the unfortunate. Okay, that looks pretty good. So if that's dry, the rest of this should dry as well. Let's take a look. Yeah, it dried, which is great. I'm actually really happy it dried. <coughs> And then you can just go to town with erasing everything and just go crazy with it. If you see a very light green line, that's also meant to be erased. That was only there for it uh, as a guide. I just hope I can get make it. I can make it all disappear because I pressed it a little harder than I should have. But it's, just, it's pretty light. It'll go. It'll fade. Okay. It's getting suspiciously close. <laughs> really? Yep, to the edge of the... That's cool. I mean, that's not cool. That's... Yeah. That's informative. Thank you for the information. I almost had a glass... I just about had a glass that I just hit the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so the inking is done. Let's go ahead and color. This is where it can have some real fun. Because, like, the scary part's over. Now this is where everything can get fun. Whoops. I dropped the eraser. The eraser. Yeah, oh, it is. So Did it? Oh, that's cute. Not really. Why isn't it? I'm just still trying to calm down. It's oh, I'm not sorry. working. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get you anything? Everything and anything. Uh, quick question for Jack, uh, the Green Fox. Uh, what color did you want this space to be inside of here for your character? I was thinking of like a very nice light, like a nice rich light blue. Because I have a Copic marker right here. That is exactly the color I was going to use. Would that work for you? Because I figured since you're in chat, I can go ahead and do that for you. So this is the color, and uh, this is what the color looks like. See that blue? It's very nice, smooth blue. I was going to use it for this uh, open area here. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. So we got that. Um, we're going to go ahead and add that color. Since it's very broad, I like adding those colors. Really kind of rich tones. Just be careful don't bleed into the rest of the drawing. Wait, does this have a finer tip on? I feel like it's got a fine ah, as a chisel tip. Okay. Yeah, we're not using a chisel tip. We're gonna go with the brush tip, of course. These are alcohol-based. It's an alcohol-based marker. Get a lot of nice detail in there. It's great. And it doesn't bleed a lot either, which is really nice. I'm really glad it doesn't bleed a lot. It helps so much. <clears throat> um, it's probably just one tiny thing I forgot to add, but I'm not going to worry about it. It had to do with the cog, but the cog, it's, it's fine. The cog will look fine when the drawing's complete. Drawing. A little bit more than that, a little more than that. I definitely need to get better at using Copics. This is like uh, my second time using it. And I haven't used the blue yet, at least not like this. It's a pretty, pretty nice tool if you're really good at mastering it. It's pretty nice.
I have to look into what the uh, the chisel tip is for, because I'm sure it's for probably for large areas. I just gotta look into that a bit more. I'm sure it's got potential. I'm sure it's got a lot of potential. I just like the brush tip because I feel I have more control with the brush tip. Oh, Kit, you gotta go. Okay. Hope to see you later. I'll be doing another drawing later if you want to swing by later. Thanks for coming. See you later. Have a good night. There's that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, chisel tips a bit more, I think, for coverage from the way it looks. Just fine. Be fine. I just like the brush tip a bit more. I feel the brush tip has more control just overall. For the most part, the colors are pretty smooth. It's great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You doing okay? Mm the color to the body i believe i feel like i'm i feel like i'm almost a professional with the uh, the copic markers <laughs> is that nice smooth look how smooth that color is is that lovely <gasps> gravel no oh, you're fine gravel you take you take your time do what you need to do i know you're attending the uh the online convention the ferality so how's that going for you, the ferality? Because I know you were talking about that on your uh, on your channel. And if any of you in this stream are interested in ferality, check out uh, Grovel's video on uh, Grovel the Husky's YouTube channel. Uh, talks about, you know, shares what ferality is about and how it's a virtual experience and uh, lots of things to experience. Different worlds, uh, great visuals and different groups. And oh my gosh, it's a big picture. It's a big bat that's the size of the Yay! average human. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and um, I got to look at your reference again. Holy Christmas. Chocolate sounds fantastic, actually. Chocolate, yummy. I, gosh, I got to, I got to cut back on chocolate. I'll be uh, 100,000 100, pounds if I keep eating chocolate. No, you won't. I will be 100,000 pounds. No, you won't, because you're not fast metabolism. Don't lie to yourself. Metabolism is relevant. <laughs> no, because I'm still stuck with my weight. Thank you. 
I just said it's relevant. That's what it means, what you said. I'm sorry, I thought you said irrelevant, and I'm still trying to hear correctly. Oh, sorry. I'm just, I can't get anywhere with it. I'm going to see if I can actually color your character with uh, the copics. I'm going to see if I can actually uh, blend the colors. See if I can get the green that we're looking for. If not, I'll just go with straight up color pencils. But I really, really want to try these because I love how the colors blend and, and just the, how smooth they are. I can add so much lovely detail and such. I really do like that. Okay, so there's some color. Let's see if I can uh, darken that or whatnot. Okay. I always like to use the light color first so I don't cause any issues. Okay. Okay, that's definitely not going to be the green we're looking for. So we'll go color pencil with that. But I will say one thing for sure. Uh, it, definitely, it, it definitely could go well with your hair. It definitely could be used for the hair. And then I'll just adjust it with the color pencil to get it the exact thing. So um, if you want me to use that for the hair, I can. Definitely go ahead and do that for the hair. Uh, this is the color I'm going to start off with. Um, where's the green I'm going to use? The green. Um, <clears throat> Here they are. Got some good greens. It's really intense yellows as well, so we can get that color we need. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the green I would say almost it's almost a Nickelodeon green. I would say. Would you say it's like a Nickelodeon green? Almost. Or... Nickelodeon slime green. Oh, why do you say that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, gonna gonna I'm like, actually going to test. With white letters, I'm actually mean, going to test work. the color here on the side of the page, so it does not get on your drawing. To get a uh, to get a uh, a beat on what we're looking at here for color. Okay, and I think I just found your color. I'm going to mix these together, and we'll get your color. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Okay. Um, I will do your eyes last because I like to save that for last when something like this is happening. So, uh, blue tipped ears. Okay. And the inside of your ears are also that color of green. So, we'll do the light green first. Get that light green going. And then we'll darken it with the other green. Yeah, I hope you like this. I really hope this icon works for you uh, when it's done. You can use it for any of your social media. Um, you don't have to use it. I just thought it would be a really cool idea since I haven't really made an icon yet. I've just been doing basic drawings, but this specifically I designed it so it could be used as an icon if you so wish. And what's really nice about this is, is because it's got a bold outline, you can actually have this turn digitally and actually make this into a telegram sticker. Literally, what you do is uh, once it's all colored, you just select the white background here, the outside, and then you invert your selection, and then it will select everything inside. And you can turn it into a uh, PNG file and uh, export it at a 512 by 512 pixel resolution. And uh, that can be turned into a Telegram sticker. Just upload it to Telegram through the Telegram sticker bot, and you're good to go. Just add it to a sticker pack, whichever you wish, and you got yourself a Telegram sticker. So you can use a telegram sticker, an icon, just about anything really. You can get pieces like these. I really wish I would not have missed that spot. There we go. I fixed it. Okay, I am going to try to get uh, focused on this so I don't hold you up or anything. There we go. And the ears are green as well, up to a certain point. I'd say about there's a good stop right about there. Try to make sure you get all those areas perfectly. There we go. Also, does anyone in the chat have any plans for the, uh, for the later part of this year? Anything like any uh, online conventions or possibly even actual real conventions like actual in-person ones that are that should be starting to rev up again uh with with vaccines being out and such a lot of vaccines and whatnot oh that sounds awesome awesome mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, er, you know what's funny is earlier um, the chat was telling me about how how my arms kept appearing in the thing. They <laughs> said we're having a giveaway for coasters arms. <laughs> it was like, it's like I don't know why, but it's like my arms were just all over the place. Anyway, we got our ears looking mighty fine. Fantastic. Some good colors here. Pretty decent colors. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the blue for your ears. Get that blue in there. Oh, I can't see shadow. Okay. That's pretty close to your blue, actually. That is pretty close. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna add the copic marker first. So yeah, copic marker and then I'll darken it. I want to test it to see how well it blends. Well, it blends. Ooh, gosh, that's exactly your color. Wow, it is exactly your color. That's perfect. So we'll do the Copic marker first. Then we will color it in with the colored pencil. I'm really impressed with how nice it looks uh, with the colored pencil. Did your tummy cry? You okay? Mm -hmm. Might do something after this, okay? Mm -hmm. Take some fish? Mm -hmm. Do you like fish? Nice salmon for you. Okay, so we got the blue, and I get my uh, Copic marker back in its bloody case. That'd be fantastic. Okay, got it. Okay, so then I want to add this dark color here. Uh, this is not going to be a shaded piece, um, unless you want some shading. Um, shading would take a bit longer. Uh, I mean, I can try doing just a light shading. But, um... Nothing too much because of uh, the time, and plus I wanna make sure other people have a chance at it. Basically, a flat colored. It's kind of that's basically how telegram stickers are for the most part, is a flat color anyway. But uh, I think it looks pretty sweet so far. And that color's coming in really nice. I try not to go too heavy with the color pencil, so it's not too dark. Here's the good part. I can always lighten it up with a white color pencil if it's a little too dark. You can lighten colors, actually. You can use white. White does have a purpose with color pencils. Specifically, they have to be wax-based in order to achieve that. Okay, so like I said with those, that green we were doing, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the green, and then I will, of course, um, add the rest. The rest of your colorant. Okay, pause are next. Here, finish your paws. Gosh, your paws are nice. And say, I I showed you my paws. Please respond. Okay. Copic markers do save time, though. Really do. I'm actually impressed with how much time they save.
The only key thing with Compex I've noticed is you've got to keep a constant constant motion with the pen or it doesn't blend as nicely. You just really got to keep that pen moving before it dries. Okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. I can love those colors. Oh, my shoulder cracked. <laughs> Good. Hair is next. Hair. I'll bled out of the line just a little, but I'll be careful. These topics do bleed a little bit out of the line, just a little. I guess it's got kind of a, a benefit to that, though, because you don't have to get right up to the edge to color it, which is kind of nice. If that makes any sense. Actually, I should try layering with the hair. I'm just not exactly sure how to layer with the hair that much. I have to experiment with it a little bit. A lot of strokes and such. Can do some shading. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then we'll add that darker blue. Help with the contrasts. So we are adding just a hair, a bit of just a tiny, tiniest bit of shading to the hair. Give it a little volume, just a little bit of volume. Thank you. 
it here now has texture, which is fantastic. Okay, that looks pretty nice. I do like how that turned out. Great. And let's go finish the coloring. Which green were we using? This light green, okay. Drag. So you're basically the rest of you is all green from the way it looks. And this is like a dark gray, that's fine. You can go with that, totally go with that. Not a problem. I can't wait to get to those eyes, they're gonna be really fun to draw. I should invest in some other colored copics when I get a chance one day. Experiment. A uh, quick thing, I wanted to ask Jack the Green Fox, what color would you like your tongue to be? Because I'm looking, and it looks like your profile pic you have currently, it's like a, excuse me, like a very, like a, a powdery blue or like a smoky blue for the tongue. Excuse me. I can, I can definitely achieve that for you. Excuse me. If that's what you desire. Sorry. You okay? You got it. I can do that for you. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, now we'll go with that darker green we were talking about earlier. I'll go ahead and use that dark green to smooth up everything. Bring out the true color of your piece. It's not really darker, it's just richer. It's not as limey. Not as much of a light. Here we go, now it's a good color, that's a really nice color.
<clears throat> it really is a huge help when you have copic markers though. It really definitely speeds up the arting process. Gives you levels of smooth smooth color you couldn't achieve alone with colored pencil. It's pretty sweet. But then color pencil has its place too because it's wax based, so it's nice rich tunes. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, I do the eyes and the rest. Ah, oh, fingies, fingers. Let's see that blue we're going to use for that tongue. Oh, what color was that? Here we go. This is pretty close. That's a little too blue. I'll probably do a little bit of a gray and a little bit of a blue to help kind of get that middle ground look. Let's see what a gray and a blue looks like. Just very light blue. And a little bit of gray in there. Yep, got it. All right. Where's B? We have to be up. Ah, what is that? You're here now. I know. Sorry. Where's that gray I was going to use? Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. And I need a little bit of just a hair of white. I'll just use, or I could just use a gel pen later to just add a little highlight to the tongue so it's not so flat looking. I could do that. Because I like the tongue to look flat. Where's my gel pen? Here it is. Let's do the gel pen now. Get a nice build up of color. There we go. <clears throat> That's better.
Uh, next to the eyes, I think we are done. Eyes. Uh, I've got your reference right here. So let me do that. And uh, the cog. Just got to do the cog. Color the cog. Color the cog. All right, uh, that blue is definitely there. Hmm. I think I've got just what I need right here. It's a little too dark for my taste. Let's go with this. It's got a better overall appearance. All right, here it goes. Guy is quite tricky, but I think we've got this. Okay, I'm going to add a nice dark color here to give it that dimension we need. Let's go with a really dark color here. That'll work. Add that depth to give it the eye dimension, of course, give it nice rich dimension.
I don't know if I could lighten up that eye a little bit. It's a little too dark for my taste. Definitely like lighten up with this. Bring some light into the eye here. I'll probably grab some white and just add that. White works pretty well. Brighten up areas that are a little too dark. Oh, my white is so small. I need a bigger white. I must have no white left. No white left. Huh. Pretty cool, I guess. I'm just adding some white. Brighten up that corner of the eye here. I hope it brightens it up. If not, I'll just throw in some of this lighter blue. I'm definitely not getting the white color I wanted, so, uh, where is my gummy racer that was sitting here? Have you seen the gummy racer? Here it is. Okay. Here, I'm gonna actually lighten this area just a little. So I can give your eye color more life. Life in that color. Sometimes a little too much color can be a bad thing sometimes. See, this just uh, grabs some of the pigment and just takes it away, which is good in this case. That's what we want. I just hope it's enough to lighten that up. Okay, whoops. I took some of the paper with it, but it's fine. No harm done. It's fine. Just go in there with the dark and uh, fix that area really quick. There we go. Fixed. Okay. Alright, um, drag it so we have more life in the eyes. Well, that's what gel pens are for. <clears throat> It's the one that I damaged when I was trying to fix the tip. But it still does color, which is nice. I'm glad to see it still colors. Now we can add the darker color. How do my eyes look? Look okay. Yeah, I'm starting to look a little darker than I expected. I'm trying to avoid that. Okay. But at least for the rest, I can lighten it just a little. Which is a good thing. Serotonin.
Okay. And that will color, and then I think we're done this one because I don't want to overwork the piece. I'm going to, of course, color the gear, but then that'll be it done. I need a pen thing. It was a 0 0.5, that'll work. Perfect. I just need something to bolden up that line just a little bit. There it is. And that's why I need something to help make that pop a bit more. Also, I apologize if my hair gets in the way during this uh, me drawing. Sorry about my hair. I should get a haircut soon. Um, so that looks done. That looks done. Um, just dollop this area, really. And then the cog. All right, what color are we making? The cog. I'm probably going to use a copic. Copic. I'm going to use a marker on the on the cog, the big wheel. I'm also just really experimenting with this gel pen, seeing what I can do with it. Like in some respects, it's great. In some respects, it's kind of not so great. But I mean, I'll definitely use it for some things. Like for your character, I wanted to outline him a little. Outside them like this. Give them a little more pop on the piece, a little more expression. Help it separate from the background a little better. Like that. I 
should invest in a, a painting pen. I don't know where to actually, or which one to get. I know where to get them, I just don't know which one to get. It's like, I don't want to buy the wrong one. Anyway, I'm just about done this piece. Um, we'll also be having another drawing here shortly also. So nobody will have to wait too long for that. I think the white outline helps. Mm -hmm. Really? Good. I'm adding the white outline, of course, to help make the picture pop more. It's uh, Since the blues are so close in color, I just wanted to make sure that it was a distinction. A nice broad distinction between the two. I don't remember which blue I was using previously, and it was this one. Just doing a little bit of shading, just to be, just to be awesome. Okay, now the cog, and then it's done. Just gotta do the cog. I'm gonna use the Copic for this. Drag it. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, Ooh. I dropped the Copic marker right on the drawing, and it landed just on the edge. Whew. It almost ruined the drawing, but it, it's fine. That's exactly what I'm coloring anyway. So. We're still good, and this is the color I was going to use, so we're okay. Oh, I almost had a heart attack there. Holy Christmas. Woo. Hey, Guppy Vlogs, I'm about to start your piece here in about, uh, about 10 minutes or less. I'm also going to be having another drawing soon. The uh, last part I have to do for this call is I just got to color it. Um, I just got to do really quick little thingamajig really fast. What am I doing? Um, oh, yes, I'm going to add... Contrast, of course. Get my colors I need. Because you know how I like to draw metal. Oh yeah, with Copic Marbers you don't have to, to bother with that part apparently. So it's pretty nice. Alright, Jiminy Christmas. Uh here we go. 
for coloring. Color, color, color. Something else I'm about to do, it's not cheating for art, but it definitely helps. You'll see. Ye shall see. It all makes sense in just a moment. And then probably one more. Actually, I want to leave it with just one more tiny one. Just a very tiny one here. Because you got to have a shiny cog. You got to have the cog shiny. If you don't have it shiny, it's not nearly as cool looking. Okay, that's pretty neat. This looks pretty cool. I'm probably gonna adjust that one really fast. Just a little bit. Okay, that's what the only one. Nice. Okay, now I've got my final markers that I needed. I just need to make sure I had an exact spot where these highlights are going to go. Basically, if that makes any sense, that's, that's where my highlights are going to go. Go ahead and darken up those highlights. You can go really dark with these uh, boundary lines because uh, the shine is so intense that it creates a nice, really nice illusion. But even so, I'm not going to use black. Well, not a black pen, at least, because it's a little too sh too harsh, and I don't want it to be too harsh since the character's structure isn't super harsh. Okay. All right, here comes the fun stuff. Coloring with the pen. Gosh, I love these colorings. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh. <clears throat> You're getting a bad headache. I'm sorry. Heck, I'm sorry you have a headache. Okay, we're about to have another drawing here in uh, about 10 minutes. I just gotta color this <clears throat> and sign it, of course. Jinkies. Wait. I just forgot to color that bloody thing in there. Where'd my thingy majiggy go? <sighs> Due diligence it is found. <laughs> yeah, we're just coloring this in, and then we'll add our other things we need. Just the color contrast, isn't that nice? It's 
first story be? Mm-hmm. What's it about? Escaping a Tartarus and going to the surface. Hmm. This feels nice. That's so nice. I'm also going to change the music here. Oh, yes. The, the color is nice. I really love the intensity of it. It really is nice. Am I on that song? Okay, we'll hop over to this song next. Just because... Change it up a little bit. I'm so glad when I dropped this, it didn't fall on the drawing, like, in a bad way. <laughs> I was so afraid I was going to lose the drawing. It scared me. But see, now that you have that really bold black outline, you can just color right up to the edge without any issues of it bleeding out, which is nice. You know what? I probably should just color it with the curvature of the paper. Because cogs have that machine work, which is really noticeable on the surface. We should probably carry on with that. If that makes any sense. I'm sure it makes sense to some people, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to be careful of this area. I'm going to color right up to the edge. There we go. So this also gets coloring right here. Let's be careful don't go into the highlight area. So that would be not good if it did that. Okay, now we're good. Back to colorants. Is anyone in chat familiar with Copic markers, like how to use them? As far as you know, because I'm really relatively new to this. You have one green, one blue eye. <sighs> You're right. Oh, I actually drew them both blue. I am so sorry. I can I can still adjust that eye to the green. <sighs> You're right. I can still correct that, though. I do apologize. It, it all requires is me to lighten the area and then just add the green. I will fix that for you. My apologies. Yeah, I will definitely fix that for you. I will correct the eye for you. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's the first time I missed somebody's eye color. But I will correct that for you. Be just a moment. What's wrong? What's wrong? No, I just, I can't. I just can't think coherently or anything. Everything's just a jumbled mess. You need to go upstairs and rest? I can't sleep. I'm not tired enough. I, need to go. I just I need to make sure I'm not going to jostle it by accident. I'm actually going to go with the ray idea where I was going outward with the, the pen. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to look better. Maybe. Yeah, it's much smoother this way, seems like. Which is good. It is a good thing. Yeah, I really am sorry about, about the eye color. Dang, I feel really silly about that. I'm so sorry. I'll fix that for you. It's not super difficult changing uh, a green to a blue or a blue to a green. It's not super difficult. Now, if it was like like a purple, that would have been a lot more harder if it was like a purple or, or something. Like for literally for that eye, I just got to add some yellow and it will bring it up to a green. I'm not daring enough to try it with a Copic marker. So I'll probably just uh, color pencil it in. So I want you to have a nice piece, of course. I definitely want you to have a nice piece. I think it's called Hedachromia. Is that what it's called? Hedachromia? You got two different colored eyes. I 
think that's what it's called. I do like how smooth it is though. The ink rides really nice and smooth. Say Tater, since you're uh in chat, you you don't use that brain, you got a different ones that are alcohol based markers. Oh. Oh yes, I sorry I do I do take a long time to draw. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to get faster at it. I am trying to get faster at it. Yeah, because I try to put a lot of detail into to my artwork and such. Now, if I had Cupic markers for every color in here, it probably would be done a bit faster if I had all the colors I needed. Yeah, but I'm trying to make it work. Definitely trying to make it work. Like, if any of you have anything you need to tend to, I would, you know, I would not discourage you from tend to going ahead and tending to that, because I'm going to be a little bit longer, but, like I said, I will be having a drawing in about, like, less than 10 minutes, so stick around just in case so you don't Missed the piece, of course. Also, I feel like my... Wait, did it get turned upside down? No, it didn't. We're still in focus. Okay. I thought my drawing got turned upside down on camera by accident. But we're still good. Okay. All right, now we get to add our contrast and then fix that eye, of course. I'm actually going to fix the eye right now. So I don't want to have... We need a Vanna White. 
I'll be your host for today. <laughs> Time to play Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, with this, I just gotta add some of this lighter green in here. Like I said, I once again apologize for the uh, incorrect eye color. My mistake. It's not horribly difficult to fix, it's just gotta uh, gear it up a little bit, piece by piece. Just a little bit of, little bit of that. A little bit of that. Just basically drawing over the blue with the greens. I'm gonna sharpen it really fast, get a little sharpen in there. That's nice and big. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, pencil pro point broke. Okay. Pencil point broke again. That keeps breaking. Probably too full of uh, material. My pencil sharpener. Okay, I fixed it. And pencil point broke again. Pardon me, I'm having a little difficulty getting a pencil point to stay on my pencil, my color pencil. This is the color I need, and I can't get it to stay. Okay, try it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll just switch to a different color, to color pencil. Different piece. Okay, that looks good. So I do need a point. I need a point on this. All right, it's not a point, but it'll be, it's close enough. It's, it's kind of like a point. Something that's going to be able to handle my pressure on the paper. Because I know it's, I already know the lead is broken inside. I just need it to stand up a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. So my seat's got some issues. There we go, that's better. Much better. You see the lead wobbling. It's about to break again. I'm not even pressing that hard. It just doesn't like to stay together. Also, don't feel bad about the... If it looks smudged, it's just a little technical thing I can fix. Not a big deal. Okay, where is the mechanical pencil I was using? I need that. Or a pen will work as well. I'll just use a pen. A straight pen. This allows me to scrape away some of that old color. So I can apply some white in there. Okay, well, it took off a bit more than I expected, but that's fine. Get some uh, nicer looking greens in there. A little bit more green and it's almost the color I need it to be. Almost. This is also an artist technique you can do. It's basically just scratching off the surface layer of color. It's a pointy object, maybe like a razor blade or a needle or something. It's basically what I'm using for this, basically. It's like a needle. We got our green, and that looks a bit better. A little bit better, at least. Why did 
my music. I put it on loop. Oh, okay, it didn't stop. <laughs> okay, now we'll go back to that uh, gel pen and fix the eye issue we were having. Okay, hopefully that looks better. Does that look better to you? I hope it does. It's uh, not the most intense green because of the paper being a little thin there, but I could try going a little richer on that green. It's a darker green, but I don't want to go too dark. Unless I destroy the depth of color we have already. That's better, okay. See this area here is kind of peeling off. I'll have to tack that back down. <laughs> I don't want to turn this into a sculpture. <laughs> I'm just tacking that little bit of color really fast. And that'll correct the overall look. That's better. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, do your nose. I forgot to do your nose. I don't want to forget that. What color is your nose exactly? Like a charcoal purple gray. It's basically like a really dark gray. Uh, I'll just do that and I'm almost done. Gray, here's my gray. Gosh, I keep losing my stuff. Here we go. Doesn't write anymore. Try with the point five. Mm, <laughs> there you go. It's a good music. Oh 
Okay, we'll just leave that part there. So we'll run it. All right, with my purple. That. Oh gosh, I can't see right now. Brown and where's my gosh, goodness gracious, can't see Tuscan Red. I recall Tuscan Red's what I need for this. Tuscan Red in there, darken things up. Yep. Um, this is this time for some time. And that pencil broke. Man, all my pencils are breaking. This is crazy. What's all my pencils breaking for? Strange, if anything. <sighs> I'm gonna leave that alone because it's not really accomplishing much. Ouch! Yeah. Oh, why did they... One last little thing, and then we're 100% done. More thing. And that is on the inside of this. Just give it the lightest bit of highlight.
Okay, that is ready. All right, ready for signing. Oh, goodness. Okay, where's my pen? I want to actually sign it on the cog. So it actually has. So you can actually see who the artist is, of course. I'm going to sign the cog. Uh, mm, I'll sign it. Sheesh, where should I sign it at? I'll sign it here, I guess. Where do you think I should sign it at? <laughs> sure, go ahead and grab your charger. That's totally fine. I'm just trying to figure out where to sign this thing at. I don't want to have it in a bad spot or anything. So I want my signature to be visible on the piece. Chicken nuggets. Uh, oh, I knew just the spot. I've got it. Side to side is where it will be at. That look good. Mm -hmm. All right, piece is done, signed, and ready to move on to the next piece. Uh, we'll do a drawing next first. First, we're going to do a drawing. Um, also there it is. So let's take a good look at that. Uh, Jack the Fox. Uh, it's going to look a lot more high resolution, of course, when I actually um, send you the digital copy because live streams don't have the best uh, contrast quality. But this is going to look phenomenal when you receive it. And like I said earlier, you can actually turn this into a Telegram sticker, profile icon, whatever you wish. That will be possible with this overall uh, overall look. Okay, so um, having the next drawing, uh, whoever wishes to begin this next drawing, please say yes in the comments, and you will be entered in the next random drawing. Um, that will allow you to get a free art piece similar to something like you see here, or... Basically, whatever I end up drawing for you is completely yours, completely free. You get a free digital copy, and if you want the original, uh, just let me know, and I will arrange to have it sent to you. Just pay for shipping, and that's all you got to do. All you got to do. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It definitely helps the channel. It helps me and gives me encouragement to keep doing stuff like this. And, you know, giving free art to people that may not be able to afford to buy art, or people don't have much art they're drawing of their character or their persona. It's definitely nice to, to help some people out. Uh, and if you'd like to go a step further and um, show your support through my coffee Kofi page, um, that just allows me to afford equipment, buy art supplies, and uh, helps me pay bills as well. If you'd like to go a step further and show your appreciation that way, that is fantastic. Link is in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, so... All right, so everybody looks like everybody that wants to be the drawing is putting in their notice, which is great, that they want to be in, so fantastic. Gosh, this is cute. It's going to make a really nice little uh, profile icon. I'll go ahead and set this off to the side. I'm going to actually take it out of the sketchbook so we don't damage it. I'm just going to touch up these little areas really fast. Oodles and oodles of noodles. Gosh, noodles sounds so good. Mm. 
If you want some chicken noodles, do I have some if you if you'd like some? Do you want some chicken noodles? Mm -hmm. oh. What do you want? You want some sushi meat? Yes, yes. Oh. I know you're hungry. I hope you I'll be with you just a new month. That's even a word. Oh heck, that is cool looking. Hey everybody, look at this. That's what the Copic markers did when they bled through the paper. That is what it looks like. Good grief, that is I didn't know it bled through that much. Oh my gosh. I mean it does a great job of coloring, but I didn't know it bled that much. Gosh, goodness. I mean overall I guess it's worth the the cup for the color being that strong. The only thing is I would would never want to actually have another drawing behind it and have that happen. That would just make me cry so bad if that happened. <laughs> but goodness, that piece looks so, the, the Copics just add a new depth to the color. Like, oh, let me compare these really quick. Really quick for you. Okay. This was before Copic markers, okay? This was before. All color pencil and ink drawing. This is with Copic markers. Like, huge difference. I can't get over the amount of... Mm, the punch of color. It's so nice. Gosh. It's so nice. Okay. Actually sitting there down there so I don't accidentally bleed onto the other drawings. Okay, so it looks like we got some people interested in the next drawing, which is great. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Sorry about that, fine peoples. But we are ready for the next drawing here coming up here in just a moment. Yes, Jack, you, yes, I'm glad you like it. Uh, I, of course, will photograph that, send you a digital copy. Thank you, Tater. Yes, I appreciate people watching me draw on a piece of paper. Thank you very much. Yay. <laughs> but um, yes, absolutely. And Jack, you can actually, if you want the original, um, just just send me your shipping details and just pay for shipping, and you can get the original sent to you if you want the original as well. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, Jack, you have a good night. I will talk to you later. You have a great night, Jack. Um. So who said they wanted to be? And I'm going to check the names here. You don't. You do not need to reply twice, just only the first time uh, when I prompted you. If you have not said you wanted to be in this next drawing, uh, speak up now if you want to be in it doing the next drawing. Uh, one second here. Guppy Vlogs, I'm going to add you to my list of people that have won, because I want to make sure that I have everybody's names down here. Vlogs. Yay, an art winner! Yay! Okay, that's pretty cool. Huh, Tater, what are you up to? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see. Uh, mm hmm. Okay, I I'll put you in the drawing too. Okay. Mm hmm. I see what you. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, if Tater ends up winning, and we're going to have. Well, that's only if. Yeah, go, Tater's yeah. Tater's fine with it. Guppy Vlogs, your, your drawing is getting drawn next. I'm just doing another drawing. If that makes any sense. What's oh, up? So What's for, up? for like an idea, if Tater were to win it, uh -huh. maybe have Ozzy um, and see she's Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Oh, that. Gosh. If not, I'll sit there. I'll still draw it regardless. You're fine. The table's just causing some cadavers. Yeah. Ignore Ooh. what I said. Cadavers. 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 Would you terribly mind turning off the ceiling light? Because it, it really is like tons and tons of electricity burning. Because <laughs> we literally got a chandelier above us casting. That's much better. Thank you. Thank you. That stimulating blue light. Yes. You're not dumb. It's just you didn't know any better. Oh, you're, no, you're not. No, nobody here is dumb. If, I if, am though. If you were dumb, you would. I'm the dummy one. If you were dumb, you wouldn't have been able to find the stream and reply to me. Like. You got that down, so you are okay. You are definitely okay here. Okay, let me check to see who said they wanted to be in. I just gotta make sure I've got everybody. <sighs> you can't forget to color the nose. Yeah, I know. Color boop the nose. Boop color. Uh, 
Bla- Blasmo? I think I say Blasmo. Yeah, uh, if you're still in this chat right now, uh, currently you just say you want to be in the next drawing, and I will put your name in a random name generator. And that way you will get your name draw, um, potentially drawn to, to get a free piece of art. Okay, so who else is here? So, Vernon Fortnite. Okay, so you said yes. I'm going to actually... Okay. Currently, I'm going to go ahead and erase these names and put the new names in. So Blastmo wants a drawing. Vernon for John. For John. Put you in the drawing. And yes, I got my fantastic arm in the shot again. As earlier, we had a discussion about my arms. <laughs> Uh, so, potato. Potato in the in the dwelling. Potato. Just put, put potato. Pot oh my gosh, potato. I would. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay, you got potato, potato. Okay. Oh wow, chat just kind of went yeep. Guffy. Okay, so it looks like we've only got a handful of people in this one. We only got three people so far. I got uh, Blasmo, Vernon Forgion, and the Tater Potato. Is that everybody that wants to be in the drawing? If there's only three, I will go ahead and spin the wheel. Anyone else that wants to be in it? I see six people in the in the chat right now. There are six people watching this stream. Is there anyone else that wants to be in this drawing for a free piece of art of your original character or a fursona if you have one? Uh, say yes, and you'll be put into a drawing. If you don't have a reference, describe your species, color, and gender, and I will create a piece for you. Yeah, hey, yes, a Venetian, um, the uh, Grim Lion. Yes, you, yes, you. Um, congratulations on that. Also, yes, you had a really nice piece. I really do like how that turned out, especially since that whole thing was color pencil. I think the whole thing was. All right, go ahead and do the spin. No more names. This is it. We got three in the drawing this time, which is considerably lower than normal, but that's going to make it a little easier. And uh, let's just see who ends up winning. Okay. I'm going to try not to destroy my own live stream. What the heck just happened on my page? How dare you vanish on me? Turn it. And this is really trippy. You're actually seeing the heck what just happened here. Um what the frick just happened? Uh where did everything go? Everything just disappeared off my screen, which is really weird. Um uh, we are still doing that drawing. I just don't know what the heck happened. Like, all my windows closed, which is so freaking weird. Please bear with me. I want to bring everything back. Okay. Okay, Wheel of Names Random Generator. It should still be there. Good. That's still there. Bringing back my own live stream, which is so weird. I don't know why it closed on me. And bringing back the music, because everything closed. Yeah. This laptop's had a lot of bugs in it since I've gotten it. I'm not quite sure why it does the things it does. Okay. Bring back my music. There we go. Play, please. Pretty peas. Please pay the music. Okay, and we think we're on this one here. If not, that's totally fine. Uh, we got this thing here. I want to skip the ad if you don't mind. Thank you so very much. YouTube workies. Okay. Okay. I think we are in good hands again.
Okay, folks. Like I said, once again, I apologize about the little weird thing we had going on. Ooh, wow. Okay. Okay, we're good. Right. So everybody, here is the spinach. Spinach of the spinach. Can everyone see? Good. Okay, so we have uh, a Blasmo, Vernum Forgeon, and the Tater. We're going to spin the wheel right now. All right, let's see who the winner is. Blasmo. Oh, no. Vernon. Ooh, Vernon Forgeon is the winner. I wouldn't see where the needle was. My eyes. That was really close. So Vernon Forgeon is the next winner of this live stream to win a free piece of art. Congratulations. So, Forgeon. Let me go and collect, select your name here. I want to copy that. Bring it over to my telegram. Okay, so what that entails, what that means for you is all you have to do is give me one second. All you have to do is send me your reference to either of my social media links down below in the description. And if you don't have a reference, we will discuss that if you don't have a reference. Um, but just send that to me either through Twitter, Telegram, or email if you wish. And you will um, get a free drawing of your Sona or original character. Okay, I'm going to bring up my thing here. And drop you right on in here, just like that. Oh. And this thing like closed. There we go. Okay, save that. All right, I've got your name saved. Fantastic. Tater dummy thick. Does that count? <laughs> I mean, it depends, I guess. <laughs> All right. Is it upside for anyone else when he does that? Mm -hmm. Is it upside? What does that mean, upside? Tater, do you, what do you mean? Is it upside when someone I when I do that? Do you mean? I feel like it's upside. Upside? Huh? I'm not sure what that means. Is that a joke or something? Am I just not getting a joke? <laughs> okay, uh, Guppy Vlogs. I'm gonna go ahead and check that email for you here. Potato salad. Thank you. Of course. Confused noises. <gasps> sure, yeah, go ahead. Take your time. You're going to be right back. That's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and gather the name here. Gmail. Gmail. It's Gmail. Package has been delivered, package has been delivered, package is running a little late. Interesting. Hmm. All right, I have one question for you, uh, Guppy Vlogs. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> apparently, my, uh, apparently there was an issue with my it's nothing wrong with you at all. My email that I have for this here is accessible as a business account email. It definitely is. The thing is, my laptop is relatively new and it doesn't have it connected to my main Google account. So I have that email as a Gmail, but it's not connected to my Gmail, YouTube basic account. It's not connected to the main account. 
So I have another email I'm going to send you in chat. If you could send your information to that email, that is my main Google email, basically. The one I use for, basically, for, like, YouTube and everything else. If you could just send that to me, pretty, pretty, please. And I will try to get the old e the uh, business email fixed. I'm not quite sure why it isn't set up like that yet. I was hoping stuff would have transferred over. But, um, I will just do this for you. If you could just send it to this one, uh, then I will get that for you and we can start immediately then. Okay, so I actually have Gmail open now. Then we can go ahead and do that. Um, I'll go ahead and get an idea, sketch it up of what I'm going to create. Go ahead and get an idea. All right. Especially since that first one was almost like a warm up. Oh, let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Gummy vlogs. Looks interesting. Check some information on. I'm just taking a gander at your YouTube channel, Guppy Vlogs. I like, always like to see uh, who's in the chat and what they have, you know, what the, what they're about and such. Uh, looks like you do some video gaming. Uh, you got, got some videos there. Looks pretty cool. I think this is the same. I think, think this is you. If not, it might be someone else because there is a Guppy Vlogs here. Probably looking at different Guppy Vlogs. I just like to see it. Oh, excuse me. Uh, what you, uh, what you, uh, different channels bring to the table. I just like to see what they have. Let's check uh, filters. I'll check my email next here in just a moment. Boop 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 boop. Oh, I think I found you. Yep, I found you. I found the the guppy vlogs that we're looking for. You got uh, nine subscribers, six videos. Ooh, you do as you do ASMR. That's pretty awesome. Let's check out some of your videos a little, a little later. When you eat sugar, huh? Well, it's nice to see you actually have some videos on here. That, that's pretty cool. It's pretty nice because like uh, sometimes I'll check out like some uh, some channels and such, and they have like. 30, 50 subscribers, and they have new videos. I'm like, how'd they get subscribers without videos? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> so yeah, that sounds awesome. That sounds fantastic. Here you go. Uh, Chance the Fox. I like that. That's actually a name I used in a story of mine once for a transformation story, because I really enjoy those transformation stories with, you know, especially like with... Uh, like a, like a mysterious, like not knowing what's going on. This is like almost like a force transformation. Those are pretty nice. Okay, so you got oh, you got you got accessories, and you got you got a nice color. It's like a uh, like a deep orangish. What color would you call this? What color do you think that would be? It's not a burnt orange. It's kind of more of a. It's not beige. You're good, you're fine. I think I've got the color here, actually. Mm. You know what's nice? That Copic marker actually can be useful for that as well, which is fantastic. Just gotta tone it with the little orange in there. Oh, yeah, anyways, it's like a, a deep yellowish orange. It's, but it's nice, it's a good color. See, there it is. Right here on my uh, color list. They call it Y19. It's pretty cool. Thank you for the reference sheet also. Thank you very much. I do have that. And we'll go ahead and get started. Let's see. Let's see what piece should I be doing. Do, 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 do. I'll go ahead and get some inspiration. 
Also, I need to, I need to grab a drink, please. Pardon me for just a second. Oh, what's that? What's the scientific name for water? It's not H2O. It's a good I don't know. I feel really ill. I foot. <laughs> you got a nice foot. Did you know your foot is nice? No. Nice. They look disgusting, honestly. You got a good foot. No, they look disgusting. I said foot. I have two feet. Well, Tedder Beard does too, but his stays hidden. Oh, interesting. What if you have four legs? How would you feel about having four legs? Be a tar. <laughs> if. Wait, what would you be? A, a wolf tar or a fen tar? A fen tar! Be a, a wolf tar? No. A wolf and tar. You'd be a wolf and tar, that's what you. <laughs> okay. Long legs. Uh -huh. Put the bag can on really quick. I see. Long legs. Ashai, ashai. <clears throat> Alright, let's get some inspiration here. Okay, I think I've got just the thing. This will all make sense soon. Soon. Very soon. Very soon. Yeah, sorry about uh, my uh, overthinking, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I know, it's, I know it's up. I need to raise my chair up. Drawing, my brain is half and half at the moment. Yeah, I don't... I don't think it's upside down. It doesn't seem to be upside down on, on the my life on my live feed I'm seeing. I mean, if it is upside down, like, someone please let me let me know if my if my live stream is upside down. I don't want to see have people looking at upside down video. <laughs> That'd be quite disturbing, actually. Okay, I think uh, I gotta stop drawing it like that. Oh, uh, wait. No, I've got this. I understand what's going on. Oh, I feel stupid. No, I've got this. I understand what's going on. It'll all make sense here in just a moment. Believe me, all of my sketches start out extremely rough. You'll believe me. Like that one I drew previously, it started out extremely rough. And then, of course, you know, it got finished. But. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm doing now, I think. This is not amazing. I actually know what I'm doing. Gosh. That's a first. That's not it either. I've got to think about how I'm doing this. Ah, oh, I've got it. 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 Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Got it. 
Okay, I'm off centered. Can still fix that, I think. That's better. Now we're centered. Cool. Getting this, I think I'm getting this. Just looking at your reference. Your stream is breaking. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Vader. I'm glad it's good now. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me know it's working now. That's huge, actually. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. This is, I'm trying to do something extremely inspirational and it's stupid difficult. <laughs> I will get it though. Trust me, I will get this though. It's just a lot more tricky than I was expecting. So if you're running like this, your other leg, I forgot how to run. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay. Got it. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I was really kind of losing it there a second. <laughs> sorry. get it though.
Hmm. You okay? You need some rest? Mm -hmm. I feel like that foot's a bit too bent. Hmm. Oh, I'll just hack. Sorry. You okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. No. Mm -mm. You'll get it. You'll get it. It's a crack. You'll get it. Oh. Got it? Oh, All right. There we go. Now we're getting the shape we wanted. Yeah. Sorry. You'll be all right. Be okay. There we go. I think we're finally getting what we needed. Besides my little panda snacks and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Rotisserie chicken skin is the only thing I have right today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you. Sorry, it's taking a little while for me to get the sketch idea down. It's kind of kind of a new concept I'm trying to create. I'm trying to foreshorten and I am not the greatest at anatomy, but I'm going to make it work for you. Okay, I think we finally got what we're looking for with that. And this foot as well. I think that's what we were looking for. I oh, hope that's it. I feel like that leg's a little too long. Okay, I, f I figured it out. Sorry, peoples. I, I figured it out what I was doing. Whew, it gets tricky sometimes, though. I'll tell you that much. It's really tricky sometimes. But that that foreshortening can really, really, really mess with you. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, now we can do the throw the face. So if you're looking at something like this, your one thing in your neck will start to show. Right? No, the other one will start to show. PC is better now? Fantastic. Smashing. Okay, I gotta make sure the eyes look as nice as possible. Yeah, I've I've got this. I've got this. The head's just a little off, maybe just a little off. It's nothing I can't fix. Like, I already know what I'm looking for in the head shape. I just gotta pinpoint the actual shot that the head's looking at here. Chin's gonna be here, eyes will be here. Got it. Okay, I think we're getting it. And then I'm just drawing the rest of the face here. Believe me, it's going to look a thousand times better once I start inking it.
just make sure I'm getting that proper angle going, of course. And the ears look really nice. I like the ears so much. It's just for me to get the shape of the ears. I'm not gonna keep them like that just to get the overall shape, of course. Okay, I think that's the basic shape we needed. Uh, I think we're ready to actually. Oh my gosh, this is so tricky. I haven't got the proportions right. It's like the proportions are uh, off or something. I hope they're correct. My anatomy's freaking awful. Okay, I want to go with that. And we'll draw some uh, pencil, some line work in really quick. I think we're ready to start adding those details. Okay. Also, please forgive me, I'm not the best at anatomy, but, you know, I'm trying. I'm definitely heckin' trying. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got our feet. We got hands. Good looking hands. Uh, how does a hand even work? Like... The frick? What kind of hand does that? Oh, oh, that kind of hand. I thought I was drawing something else, like, for a second there. I literally have to look at my own hand for this, because of my needs to draw right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I think we're ready to do this. I hope it is right. All right, let's go ahead and start inking. I know this sounds a little early to start inking it, like, but I think we're ready to go. Kirby Meta Knight Sword or something? Kirby the Meta Knight Sword or something? What is this? What is this? I see people saying something in the chat. Okay. Cool. I hope I did this right. I just, oh, man. I just feel so stinking awful at anatomy. I just feel like I'm so bad. Like, I try, but gosh, goodness, I'm just awful at it. Like, this leg probably should go a little farther. Just a wee little bit. I'm thinking just a wee itty bitty bit. Just there. Now it feels like it's a little more in proportion. Okay, because I feel like the torso was too too bloody long or something. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, holy Christmas. Okay, okay. I think we're ready to bloody do the thing. And don't forget the the knee caps. Those are important. The knee caps. There. Now it feels like it's a little more eh, accurate, I guess, I suppose. There. I think that is about as accurate as she's going to get. Gosh, I wish I was better at art. I feel like I'm freaking awful. <laughs> okay, ready to do the inking. Tappy! Mm -hmm. Oh, French nuggets. Let's see. We're going to do. I need to look at something I did once. Look at my old reference here. Mm. Oops. Ah. Aha, I figured it out. I found out what I'm doing. Sorry, you guys. I found out exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I figured out what I'm doing. My perspective was off, but I figured it out. Okay. 
Now I can do the bloody eyes. There we go. There we go. That's so much better. That, they're, uh, almost perfect. There we go. Just make sure they were focused. Okay. Now we can actually ink. Okay, we'll start inking. Uh, we'll look at your reference once again. I've been wanting to draw a piece like this. I just haven't had the ability to think what I'm freaking doing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... It's still not quite at the level I wanted it to be at. I wanted it to be something like this. So let me fix that really quick. That's actually the true level I wanted it to be at. I want to have more three-dimensional of an appearance. So I will achieve that. Okay. Let's start inking. Here we go. I um, also thank you so much for being patient during this drawing process. Of course, of course. It does take some doing getting this just, just so, of course. But we're getting it. I'm going to hit those eyes, get those done first. Come on, pen. Your, your India ink pen, you're supposed to work. I'm going to wipe with the zero, like the trip, trip, um, what is it called? Uh, oh, which one is it? Zero, zero, five. Pen really stops, like, running. I don't know why, but it, like, stops running its ink, which is kind of weird, I guess. But, you know, it is what it is. Character's got a nice little nose. I like that. I do like that. Alone, I guess. That's fine. I'll fix it in a bit. Oh, yeah. And we'll go ahead and add this eye. And I guess I'll go ahead and throw in the muzzle as well.
I will, of course, fix the nose so it doesn't look so derpy. I, to me, it kind of looks a little derpy in my opinion, so I will fix that for you. Let's go, with go over that with a little white, and that should take care of that issue. Also, I'll check the stream here, make sure everybody's doing okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I just hope I'm doing this okay for you. Really want to do a good job for you. Adjust that neck a little bit so it's not so off looking. Thank you. 
I'm bolting that up a little bit. It's a little too thin for my liking. I'm gonna bolt that up just a little. Give it a little more life.
Okay. I think we're ready for some color, it looks like. Potentially some color, which is awesome. It's good to add that. Nice little rich layer of color. decent. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead. And what else am I missing? Anything else? Let me check really fast just to make sure. Ah, I'm missing this chest. I don't want to miss that. That's important, of course. I seriously have almost no, like, anatomy experience. I'm just kind of, like, going over some stuff I've seen. Or basically just looking at my hands and my arms to complete this. I think I'm getting pretty close to doing the thing. Doing the thing! Where is my pen? Thing. Cap. Lid. Something. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely ready for erasing these lines and adding some color. Let me look at your pupils really fast. Um, you got some good looking eyes. Definitely got some nice looking eyes. <sighs> Let's go ahead and add some eye shines. Definitely want you to have eye shines. Good quality eye shines. Let's go with these. Those will look really nice. And then, of course, the pupil, the pupil. I really do like your eyes. They really do shine. They're nice looking eyes. Pretty nice. I don't think I missed any details. If I did, I'll just add those back if I missed anything. The vacuum in here. Vacuum a little bit. Clean up my room. Clean up my floor. Not too bad, considering I've never drawn this pose in my life. Never drawn this kind of pose before. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Huh. I love fur tufts, like, oh, everywhere. It looks so nice. I love it. I'm not adding them to that shoulder. I was going to, but I don't want to overwork the piece. Okay, let's erase these lines down here. Probably thicken up that leg a little. Not thicken it up, just make sure that line is properly visible.
Okay, that's that better. Good, good toe beans. I did not add claws. I probably should have done that, and I do apologize. You should be able to still add those, considering. Uh, chance for for chance. Do you want me to? Uh, do you want me to add claws to the lower digits, or do you want me to leave those the way they are? I feel I feel for this particular scene, claws aren't super necessary to give the overall look that you're going for. I kind of feel that maybe claws might take away from it more than add to it. Basically, the area is so small that if I add detail, it's not really going to stand out. Um, I can do it if you want, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time. That's basically why I'm kind of suggesting maybe not adding those. Just for that reason. Um, however, I want to create a nice nighttime scene for you. With sparks flying from a, uh, I don't even what you call it, like a sparkler on a string. That's that's basically what this character is doing is they are spinning a sparkler in the night. I thought I'd really, uh, I thought I'd add to that, you know, give that idea. Hopefully it, hopefully it burns, it works. Hopefully that idea works. I think it will work. From the way this looks at this point, I think it will work. Okay. Next uh, is the string. Also, these highlights you see, those are not the eyes, those are of course, just the highlights. So you do not have to worry about uh, the character looking off to the side or any randomness or anything of that nature. Okay. I'm currently looking at my own live stream. Because I want to make sure everything looks nice. Okay. Color. Yes. Uh, let's do the color. Drawing in color. I'm just gonna make sure I clear this bloody thing properly. I am getting a little tired, but I think I'll be okay. Your string is going to be... Well, I guess I'll go with the initial idea. Drag. Hmm. Huh. See, I don't know if I like that better, or if I like... Well, the eyes are focused here already, so I'm going to have to go with that, it looks like. French nuggets. Let's see. Let me zoom in on your eyes, see your color. I have that color. I can go with that. All right, here it goes. Color time. The lower section is blue, upper section is like a nice dark color. Definitely can go with that. And it's like pitch black in color, but we'll go with the gray first so I don't darken it too much. Darken it gradually. And purple is the way to darken things without using black. Purple is a fantastic darkening color medium. It's very nice to use. It's really rich tones with purple. 
I'm not sure what this purple is called I'm using, because these color pencils do not have any labeling. But it's a good color. It's a very good color to use. So you got your blue in there. Looks pretty spiffy. So I am going to go ahead and hit your highlights with the yellow. Probably should use the lighter yellow. Uh, it's fine. Let me take a look at what yellow we have over here. This yellow is super bright. We'll go with that a little bit. Just a little. It looks okay. I just really like the fire that this brings to the drawing. This Just dark that with some browns. Not too much. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that path at this point. So I don't know how else to make it look good. I guess we'll go with that path color we're using. This is a golden-ish color, so we'll go with that. And we'll just very lightly color in the area that we are using. Now I have the path down, now I can erase these pencil lines and carry on with the rest of this. It's good to get those pencil lines already in place, and then you just erase them when you add some color. Okay, so. Oh, we gotta find a way to add some sparks color, some light. There's a way. I just gotta think of it. Uh, okay. I think I found the answer. Okay, so we got that part down. Let's add... Aha! Uh -huh. I figured it out. I hecking figured the bloody thing out.
All right, we got our main base of what we wanted for color. Now we just gotta, uh, oh frick, uh, color the character and then add some background contrast and pieces. We'll be done then. Oh, coaster. I mean, um, coaster. My name. Gosh. Um, Flare the Firefox. Aw. Oh, sorry, you gotta go. I hope you have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, totally. Get some rest. Uh, when this piece is done, I'll, of course, post it. Show everybody what the piece looks like. Oh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, thank you, uh, Kirishio, uh, Kirishio to Uwu. Thank you. Um, yeah, Flare Fox, get some rest. Um, yeah, everybody... Um, this will probably be my, um, I'll probably, I mean, I'm, I'll try to do one more drawing. If I don't get one more drawing, I'll do that in the next stream for the other winner. But I will finish this one in this stream. I always try to get at least two drawings done in a stream. So yeah, stick around if you like, and, uh, I'll get this one finished. Colors, 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 colors. We need your colors. You are a nice orange boy, I think. Hold on. Are you male? Let me check, make sure. I do not want to... Hey, you're male. Okay, it says male. Okay. Yay! Okay, we got it right. Thank goodness. <clears throat> I didn't want to get it wrong. I would like, you know, like, say something that I wasn't supposed to say. Oh, uh, you got a blue tongue, which is lovely. I do like your... <sighs> blue tongue. It's very cute. Let me get that color. Go get your colors in there. I do know your tongue is a nice dark color, but we got light hitting your face, so go ahead and brighten that up a little bit with some other colors. Because light acts weird when... Uh, for uh, Colors act strange when light hits it in an odd way, if that makes any sense. Basically, colors change with different colored lighting, basically. Basically speaking. So he'll add the blue to your ears, but there will be a difference in color. I'll get as accurate as possible, but only change the areas that the lighting affects. That's all I will change. My poor posture is probably... Oh, man. I got a, I got a stem a crack my back or something. Good grief, my poor posture. But the good news is I'm off work tomorrow, so I can catch up on some YouTube stuff, which would be, of course, uh, finally uploading my massive... 1,000 subscriber thank you video and such. That's been something I've been trying forever to try to get done. Uh, it's a massive, massive undertaking of a video it was. Gosh, we had to fill up over a 1,000 balloons in that video. But uh, I'm literally just about done that video. It's on my laptop right now, and just got maybe another three, four minutes of video to add, and then it's done. And hopefully it's still enjoyable, even though it's a bit late. Hopefully people still enjoy it. I definitely hope so. <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. using for their oranges. <laughs> I should be able to use the Copic because, the, like I said, it's really close to your color. So uh, let's try the Copic marker first. Um, drag it. Let me use the blue first for your tail since I'm going to get that um, accurate as, as I can. Okay, got a really cute tail color, I have to say. I really do like that. For, for a fox, that's cute. I think it's pretty cute. Pop in those nice colors. So we got some nice rich colors, which I think is pretty sweet.
Copic markers are so bright. So you can layer them, if I understand correctly. Oh, heck. Apparently this one Copic mar marker decided to drip on my page, which is really stupid that it did that, but I will be able to fix it. Gosh. Really kind of... I don't know why I had to do that for. But it's okay. I'll fix it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm going to hit your tail with some highlights really quick. Um, trying to hit some, some highlights if I can. Because of the uh, light shining down, of course. And I'll probably hit that with some white. Get it some proper... Proper lighting. Diffusion. And I'll just darken the other areas so you can get a better overall uh, appearance out of it. Maybe hit one or two more spots with some light just to show that light. Not too much, just a little bit. And up here, we definitely want to add a little more white to that because of the color buildup. Then we add some more of that yellow in there. Intensify that light. Okay. There we go, that's better. Gotta layer those colors, you know? Gotta layer them. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add that bloody thing I was talking about. Oh yes, the uh, color for the overall, the overall appearance, of course, of course. Okay. We're going to add your blue to, uh, excuse me, the digit up here. So we go ahead and get that in there. There you go. Just add that. Add that. And next, we're going to color you in. This time my Copic doesn't drip everywhere, because I was really kind of disappointed in how it drips. Like, I've never seen it do that before. It's the weirdest thing. It's honestly the weirdest thing I've seen. Okay, here it goes, those colors we were talking about. And of course, I will darken those to your needs as, of course. Gosh, this marker really does color nice. Oh, I missed a spot earlier. My bad. I missed a little uh, coloring spot, apparently. Hmm. Got it. So, so silly of me to miss that. <laughs> yeah, so far I'm kind of love-hating a Copic marker, like... For what it's worth, it colors fast. I do like how it can have a lot of great coverage. Just in case any of you are looking into stepping up into Copic markers. I mean, for coverage, excellent. For neatness and bleeding, horribly, it bleeds really, really strongly through different things. So, if you're okay with that, then it's, it's pretty good. Like... I'm saying, like, if you don't mind the bleeding idea thing, then, you know, go for it. Okay, ah, uh, your paws are blue, so let me go and add some blue to your paws. I don't want to miss that opportunity there. Definitely don't want to miss that opportunity.
There we go. Colored. Very nice. Color, color, color. Now there's a way to refill these also. I'm not sure how it's done. I think you gotta buy like a refill pack or something. Like these markers, they actually run out of ink and you can refill them and keep using the same marker. At least I think it's how it works. I've never done that before, so I'm really new to this. Copic marker stuff. But I do like how it colors. Like tone is nice. Rich color too. I'm just saying that color is pretty rich. I just hope it doesn't bleed like into itself by accident. That would stink really bad if it did that. Like if it bled into a different color and picked up the other pigment and then just stayed in the marker and started smearing this weird half-toned yellow color everywhere, that would be kind of upsetting. <laughs> but I think it's okay at this rate. As far as I know. See, but this color here, I don't even need to lighten any areas. Like, right now, I can just go in there with some white and add some lighter colors. Because this, the light up, a light up above is going to create its own lighting. And you've already got lighting on your skin, so that's looking pretty, pretty promising. Oh, man. I know I'm going to be sleeping well at night when I'm done, because... Oh, excuse me. I don't know how long I've been awake today. But it's worth it. You know, getting something, getting stuff done, especially getting live streams done, because, you know, that's that's helping me create a business. And, uh, it's, you know, it's worthwhile. It's, it's fulfilling. I don't get sick of it, you know. It's not something I, I, I love... Be doing art, you know. You know, it's something that I... I don't know if it was what I was meant to do, but it's something that i definitely grown to accept as like... As like, yeah, this is probably what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I'm not saying I'm really, really, really good at art. But, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see, check out how everything's going in Streamland. Seven people watching? Cool. I hope I am entertaining in some way or another. If not, I'll give your money back then, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> money back guarantee your entertainment. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm trying to get those areas in the back there, like, give it more color, something like that. Because I forgot I wanted to keep those areas nice and light. Kind of forgot about that earlier, and now it's kind of not as light as I wanted it to be. But I should be able to bring it back. A little patience, a little practice, some practice. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, well, there's that. It's not going to get much better than that. So see, this is where I add the darken areas. I darken it, then you get that, that stunning contrast. That's what I like about this. When you add this dark, so everything pops more. So your darks brighten your lights, and your lights darken your darks. It's like a win-win thing. They both take care of each other, so to speak. So. It sounds kind of weird, but eventually it makes sense. The more you do this, the more it makes sense. So yeah, that part. Not. <laughs> All right, back to the uh, 
thing, I guess, the coloring. Oh, I gotta color your nose. I, I feel so silly. I didn't color your nose. I'm sorry. I'm, I forget color noses lately. Huh. I must be losing my mind. Forget color noses and all that, you know. Can't be forgetting the color noses. It's unacceptable. There we go. Got a nice colored nose there. Go back to coloring this. Okay, your hair's the same color. I can definitely work with that. Kind of reminds me of uh, Blaze the Fox, just a little bit. The color, the color tone so far. I think it looks great, though. I think you look really cute.
Okay, got all those colors down. Now we just need to darken it a little bit. Let's see the best way to do that. I could use another Copic or I could just use colored pencil. Okay. I'm going to test. Put these off to the side here and test to see how that will work. Okay, definitely not a wise choice to mix those two. Let's try the pink. So we got pink. Let's add some of that yellow in there and see if we get anything interesting. Hmm. Yeah, mixing copics are just not my thing, apparently. So we'll just continue with uh, blending with colored pencil for the rest of this, it looks like. Oops, don't want to forget up here. Don't want to forget the thingies and whatnot. There we go. Looks pretty decent. That's delicious. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, like I said, uh, lighting. Whew. Uh, we'll go ahead and add the highlights on the character, and then we'll go ahead and do the rest of the image, and then we'll be done. Whee! Fun stuff. French toast. Just, it's easy to miss an area or two with a cup, I just because it's such a fun tip. Okay, I think that's worth pretty well. Oh, that's nice. French toast. Okay, what am I working on next? Shading. Shading and intensifying some of these colors. those colors to perk up a bit, you know? That looks pretty good. All right, um, color. over my plug over to my computer because it's running low on battery. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, this is really just going to be a lot of just getting the overall look on this. There's really not a right or wrong way to do this, pretty much. You just kind of got to go with it. Especially when it comes to things like light that's fast moving. Yeah, it's it's a tricky, it's really a tricky subject. <sighs> Let's see. What color can I use for this to darken it without like going too dark? Uh, let's see. How would this work? Let me try it on your piece here. Darkens a little bit, but it's almost the exact same color as that. Um, let me try the uh, Tuscan Red. If it don't keep snapping the points off, that should work. Tuscan red. It's a way to get some uh, richer tones without going crazy dark. Plus, it's a prisma color, so it'll add some nice rich tones. How about this color? Mm, it's a little lackluster. Let's just go with the Tuscan red. Just 
just a little bit of Tuscan red, not a lot, just a little bit to add that contrasting dark shadow. Plus it smells really good. This color pencil actually has a really nice smell to it. Surprise healing actually smells really good. I think it's cedar. I think that's what it is, like a cedar wood or something. It smells pretty pretty freaking awesome. Cool. And then we'll just add those highlights I was talking about, and that'll brighten up everything else. So you get your darks, but then you add your highlights. Everything gets nice and bright. Your highlights then. I'm not going going too crazy with it. Just a little bit of highlight.
Oopsie daisy. Sorry about that. Bumping my screen. Silly of me. Okay, that part looks nice. And then we'll do the... Uh, well, literally, we're just going to go dark with so much of this. This is just going to be a lot of dark. Sounds really weird, but literally most of this is just going to be a bunch of dark because of all the overall lighting scenario. Like, so much of this is just going to be dark. It's so freaking weird, I know. Just, you will see. You shall see. It will all make sense in a moment. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Color it to death. Oh, how have I been? Um, good. Oh, I've been working a lot. <laughs> Just a lot, a lot of things. Trying to, trying to get YouTube off the ground. Um, I'm almost there. I only need 590 more total watch hours in the past 365 days to actually get monetization on the channel, which is huge. That means I can actually start making money on my channel. Like, legit, I can literally start making YouTube a career. You know, <laughs> it takes time, but, you know, it's... I'm going to make it worth it. I really am going to work really hard towards this. I desperately want this so much. I really, really do. I just... I hope I'm making the right decision. Sometimes I doubt myself. Like, if, if this is the right thing I'm doing, but... You'll never know unless you try it. You, know, you gotta try sometimes. You gotta just gotta try it. If you never try, you'll never find out. If it was it. If, it's, if this was meant to be. You gotta give it a go. Yeah, just trying to do my best. You know, just trying try to do my best. Oh, by the way, this is the fun part. Where you get to add that dark, dark background. I love adding this part. It just, oh, it satisfies so much. And purple is like the way to go when you're doing a background. Like for me, purple and then you add some other color, like a nice dark blue. It just gives you that intense background. Like this is purple. The live stream doesn't do it justice, but add that blue and you just get a nice dark background. Um, like you can add black. Just, I don't know. Black just doesn't seem to, it's just like, it's too, it's almost like a gray. It just doesn't add that depth of color. So, Dark purple, dark blue, you get really nice background. Especially if you want contrast that just pops. This is definitely what you want. I'm going to try to give it like that nice halo effect. Oh, I forgot to add grass. I, I feel like an idiot. I didn't add grass. There's got to be something down there he's walking on, right? Yeah, adding grass is actually pretty easy. Uh, just... Here, you want grass? Just throw in some color. Um, literally all you need. Just throw in some color. Where's my Copic marker? I want to see if I can make green. Can I make a green with Copic so I can just fill in the area quickly? I might be able to. Nah, it's not the right color. It's fine. <sighs> I got another type of green. I need something that's got more gurn, more gurn to it. That, well, that, this is the color I want. Okay. Yeah, this is the color I want. So, um, basically, you can actually do this because your background is going to be darker than your foreground because foreground is where all the light is happening. So right beneath your character you'll have a ring of light. And you just exemplify that. You just create it. 
have a nice little barrier. I just don't want to forget to add your shadows. This is the part that takes the longest, but... You know, if you don't mind watching, then keep watching, because this is going to get really intense very quickly. This is really going to look interesting here in just a moment. Definitely would encourage you to keep watching. But if you got things to do, I, I don't blame you. Definitely go take care of things you got to do. But, you know, I appreciate you staying and taking a look how this piece finally comes out. <sighs> yeah, this is probably definitely going to be the last piece tonight. Because of how long it's taking. But it's, you know, it's, I'm glad I decided to do this particular piece. Because I've, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. I just couldn't think of the angles and everything. How to get it just right. I'm just like, oh, gosh, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do this. I think we got it. I think we're definitely getting what we needed. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh yeah. Remember, I used Copic for the uh, for the body. Well, this also the ground also gets that light as well. But the ground will get a lighter color. Let's go. I lied. Let's go with. Let's go with the regular, like I did before. Um, it'll work. Just. Watch, watch this. Okay, so I'm just gonna add your color here. It all makes sense in just a moment. See, with this, you can always darken it. You can always darken this color. So that's why I'm going with this. Because it's there. But what I'm gonna do is this will be my base layer for my light that's in this area. I definitely want my light to be here. Um, so should I use this color? This yellow is not really that rich, and I kind of wanted it a bit richer than that. That yellow looks like lemonade. It's just—it's too light, too light. I guess that's what I'll use the chisel tip for, just filling in large areas, basically. See then with this, then add tone and color to make it the way you want. At least that's the way it appears. Pretty nice. I don't think I have ever felt this good to be alive. Like it's been so long since I've said that. Like, like this week, my I guess you want to call it depression or whatever you wish to call it has turned around so much. Like, like I've things feel like they start to have meaning again. Like I feel like I have a purpose, which is great. I haven't felt that in so long. Just. Wish there was some way I could share that with people that you know that need that need that that feeling that there's something worth living for, and I feel like there's something there finally. Oh, gosh. But uh, there's that part. Uh, where's that pencil I was using? I wanna 
use that some more. See, then once you add your marker, you can actually just go ahead and start moving that. See that transition of color? You can actually bring that out into the greens. Which goes into the greens. Then you go in there with your darks and then you start adding your details like your grass and such. You can actually darken it up a little bit. However, you really wish to pursue it. This part's like pretty easy. You just literally you just flick your pencil upward. The reason I'm drawing such a dark shaded grass in the front is because of the uh, well, the shadow the shade the shadow that the light gives the backside of the grass. So the actual blade of grass will have light hitting it, but the overall just overall lighting you don't see the backside of the grass. That makes any sense. You'll see the back side of the graph. Something like that. And, whoops. Just watch your pencil points don't break if you press too hard. Just be careful of that. And you should be fine. You just kind of follow that circle of light and then just draw dark. And you don't have to get every blade of grass, just quick, straight strokes. You can crisscross. The grass doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I mean, you don't want to pepper it, but you don't want to be too sparse. So yeah, just where it starts to go into the field of light, don't be too uniform because grass, of course, is not uniform. Go thick, go thin, and you should get what you're looking for right about there. Uh, if you want to spice it up, you can actually throw some highlights in your dark grass also. Just flick a few stray yellows into the darks to kind of break it up a little bit because, well, that's how light works. Like, finds any little break you can imagine. You just throw that in there for some extra depth or whatever you're looking for. You want some depth. You be really firm with that pencil because you really want it to dig into those dark areas. Okay, and then for your background, uh, background, you, you actually want to do the opposite. You actually want to go light to dark. You actually want to go light, lighter with your graph. So uh, grab, of course, uh, don't grab a super light, like, don't grab like a yellow, but go with a green that's lighter. Um, I would definitely not go super fluorescent green, but something maybe like this you want those areas to blend. Um, speaking of blending, you actually probably could just take your green and just start bringing it in a little bit. Like that. Then just throw in some lighter greens. Something like this. And a few stray black pieces because shadow because of shadow of course because of shadow the shadow knows the shadow knows of course of course the shadow knows and then you just get your areas like so and you can drag some of that lighter green back into your darks kind of fill in that volume and also give it more of that green look And then, of course, you're shading beneath your character. Your character beneath needs shadow. 
dark, 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 dark shadow. The areas that are further away from the ground get lighter shadow. I kind of made a booby with that. His foot's actually supposed to, be, supposed to be off the ground, but I'm going to go ahead and just make shadow anyway to show that the illusion that he's more or less off the ground. Like that. And then you just extend it. You can actually do this by throwing in some of those grasses in there. Let some of those grasses poke through. That helps more or less bring your peace into reality that he's actually connected to the earth somehow. Somehow he's connected to the earth. So darken that up. I'm talking like where the foot contacts the ground, you can go dark with that. I'm talking you can go pretty dark. And then the lighter area where he's more above the ground, you just get a little lighter. Okay. Also, I forgot to mention, make your grass in the foreground big. I forgot to mention. Big foreground grass because your perception, your depth, you definitely want your grass bigger. And then, for, of course, for the night sky in the back, you just lower your horizon line. Yes, thank you. I, I, I do appreciate it. Yes, my... Uh, two key things I noticed that help with my uh, depression. Uh, first one is being busy, working on stuff. Projects help. Secondly is music. Music has made a huge difference. Preferably Christmas music. I love Christmas music. I just, like when I'm feeling, I'm talking, when I'm feeling like I have nothing to live for, I just listen to Christmas music and it just touches my soul. It brings me back to a place where I can live again and fight the good fight and keep going. Um, I also am experimenting with uh, a nerve tonic, which is supposed to help with some things. I started taking that two days ago. I, I've, I've taken it before. It's good. It's really good. It helps with nervousness, concentration. And uh, I take that. If I have caffeine and I have that as well, it, it's the perfect combination. I'm right in a sweet spot. I have focus, concentration, stamina. I can articulate properly. I can... I don't get my hands don't shake. It's like a really nice balance, but it's ten dollars a bottle, and it's not super nearby when I have to get more. So I have to travel to that place and get more. But it's good stuff. Definitely is really good stuff. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, but like surrounding this, I'm just trying to get these overall colors in there. I don't want to go too much on this because I don't want to lose that glow, that effect. Because it's really good stuff, really is. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I almost forgot to add some of these glowing parts to where the main character is, which is really silly of me. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's paramount that this gets some of that glow. Uh, I can't seem to find my colored pencil. Uh, is this it? Yes, this is it. Gotta make a really big, a big one. Because, you know, some of these are huge and you want them to actually have proper depth. And that's yeah, like this one I made isn't big enough. It needs to be bigger. Like this, that's the size it should be. So I, I want depth. I need depth with this. Lots and lots of depth. There, yeah, that's much better. That's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for. 
Let's add that nice dark purple in there. I probably messed up on one of these things. Probably, but I don't care. I'm going to go with it. I think it looks freaking amazing so far. Oh, of course. I, I remember now. I remember. This needs to be a little bit lighter because of the trailing light. That's just a little bit lighter. Not a big thing to fix. Nothing at all. Just a little bit lighter. There. Just a hair. Just a smidget. See, if I really want to, I can actually erase that color pencil. Just kind of knock it back, you know, just kind of knock it back a little bit. There, there we go. That's much better. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Very nice. So then this is your light. This is your edge. You need... Just color the sky. Color the sky. What if I use this for that coloring? Would that work? Nah, it's too dark. It's like, it doesn't look good. We'll keep using this. This is really tricky though. It's just
Are you kidding me? My pencil point broke. <sighs> Chinkies. Thank you, uh, thank you, DJ. Thank you very much. Just about to finish the piece, too. If I can get my pencils to stop breaking, it would be fantabulous. <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. <clears throat> I'm actually having a really hard time figuring out how these colors work, because... Just trying to get these tones... To, to blend right, and it's, it's very actually, it's actually really difficult sometimes. These colors, right? Hmm. So the areas where it's towards the center is going to remain white because that's the hottest area. And there are darker areas. So. I cannot get any pencil point to not break on me tonight. This is crazy. Most all my pencils are breaking. I wonder what I did to break them so much. Yeah, just forget it. I'm not going to draw with that one. I was trying, but it just doesn't want to work. It's so weird. Yeah, we'll just have to go with those colors, I suppose.
Gosh, I wish I could get some McDonald's right now. That would sound so freaking amazing. Oh, sausage egg biscuit with hash brown and big sweet iced tea. Oh my gosh, I could use an iced tea. <laughs> your phone is dying? Oh no. What caused your phone to die? Is it just being used a lot today? Or do you, do you need to charge your phone? If you need to charge your phone, that's fine. You can uh, go charge your phone. Totally. Yeah, go ahead and charge your phone. Yeah, I'm kind of lost for what I'm doing. Let me see. Uh, oh, there's the blue I need. Or is that this the blue I need? This is the blue I need. We did purple. Now we're going to add some blue to give it that proper nighttime quality. It's so pretty. I love it. All right, what else do I got to color in the top here? Just a little bit of the top, and I think we should be just about done. This was a lot of fun to draw. There we go.
Almost done. Freaking awesome. Just do a little blending and then we're done. You're from California, so you know a lot of Spanish. Oh, cool. How do I do? Joseph Perez. Hello. Yes, I, I, I've really gotten, I've really gotten more uh, inclined to lay down a lot of dark color when I'm doing like blues and purples. I just feel like it, it, it needs it. Like, if that makes sense. Like, I want it so dark it hurts. That's how dark I want my darks to be. I'm talking like dark. Okay, uh, one more color layer, and I think we're ready to blend. Excuse me, blend. Pardon me. Hmm, what color is this? Eh, it's okay. I think I'll just leave the blue. I really like how the blue looks. Okay, I do need to blend though, so... Mm, add a little bit of blue up here, because I gotta be consistent. With my color choices. Of course. The other thing, you start coloring these different areas, you start missing some of these points. These checkpoint areas. They need to have contrast, like harsh contrast. Whatever the case. That's where the blending comes in. When you blend everything, that's when you get those, those contrasts. Then it all makes sense. Then it all comes together. Okay, we're ready to blend. I think. Probably. I'm going to say sure. I'd say we're ready to blend. A little more color up here, probably. Just a little bit, not too much. About like that. And just a little bit of this. Help break it up a little bit. Kind of help it know its place, so to speak. So it's a comet in the night sky. Sort of thing. Okay. Blending. Um... What am I using for blending? Jeepers! All my pencil points are breaking. Why the heck did this one break? Oh my gosh. It looks like I'm drawing with the tips of my fingers now, I guess. The stuff is breaking like this. Man, you just gotta draw with the tips of your fingers. Finger drawing. That's gonna be good enough. Okay. Be gone, pencil. Okay, just some very light blending, nothing too aggressive, because this drawing took forever. <laughs> I'm not upset about it or anything, I'm just tired. I need some carbs, some carbohydrates, and then some... All those things that make you feel good. Sugar, sweets, chocolate. Those good things. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I wonder if I can actually color on this edge a little bit. I can. Oh, sweet. I didn't even realize I could do that. That's pretty sweet. I like that idea. Ooh, that really makes... Ooh, I like that. I like that. I didn't even know I could do that. Heck yes. Frick 
yes, this looks so cool like this with his little beams of fire. Oh, gosh, I love it. This is probably my favorite Copic marker is the one I'm holding right now. So what you can do with it is just insane. Like, the strokes of fire and everything you can get out of it. It's just amazing. This saves me so much time from having to blend. You would not believe how much time this saves me from having to blend. Holy heck, this is freaking awesome. This is amazing. My thing is, I don't need this part right here. I kind of forgot I don't need this part. I'm going to color away that really fast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are just about done with this. I think we're done. Are we done? I know we're really close. If we're not, I think we're done now. Let's color around my front edge there really quick. Pretty much say this piece is done, pretty much. Gosh, I wish you could see it better on the uh, on the live stream. Like, it doesn't do justice. Like, it looks fine on the live stream, but in real life, it just, the colors pop so much more. Like, uh, gosh, I wish you could see this better. Also, is this in focus? I need to make sure it actually is in focus. Like, is everything in focus on this live stream? Like, to me, it looks like it's out of focus. And I don't know why it looks out of focus. I had can hope it wasn't out of focus this whole time. That would be really kind of upsetting if it was out of focus. Hmm. I just need to check to make sure it wasn't out of focus. Huh. No, I guess it wasn't out of focus. That's good to know, I guess. Oh, brother. Okay. Cool. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and call this, um, call it 99% done, because I want to do a little bit of uh, lining work on the, uh, what is it? Where's my, where's my marker at? I lose my stuff so much all the time. Uh, here it is. I'm adding some uh, outline to the back part of them, so they pop out from the background. But after that, that's it. Then we're done. You'll see what I'm doing. Oh, wait, I forgot to add one last thing. Right in here. I need some dark. Just a little bit of dark. <sighs> Gosh, this was an intense drawing. Probably one of the most intense ones I've done in a while. It's definitely 
fantastic. So wait one section, let me just blend this really quick. I forgot I have to blend this area because it's too harsh. Transition is not smooth. It needs to be smooth. Getting stuck for some reason. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to come off or not. Hmm. I'll just have to scratch it off a little bit. Waxing blooms, those things really can be a pain. Okay. You're done. 100% done. Want to sign it? New looking back. This is it. We are finally finished this piece. Whew, it took a while. But I'm happy it's done. And uh, I think it came out okay. Definitely think it came out all right. I mean, it's definitely spend enough time on it. <laughs> I just hope, uh, hope the uh, person likes it. Definitely hope the person likes it. Um. Okay, I always do that with my work. I don't know why I constantly touch stuff when I say I'm not going to touch it. Okay. But that's it. We are finished. Signing it, and uh, we're done. Where should I sign it at? Oh, sign it someplace good. I need to sign it in white colored pencil. Probably. Do I have any more color pencil? Like, I'm so out of color pencil. Like, I have almost no white color pencil left. I won't have to uh, order some or pick up some from the store. I seriously have, like, almost no color pencil left. I hope I can sign with this. Like, this is it. This is my color pencil. So, let's sign. Sign right here. It's 
Heck, it doesn't sign worth heck. You can't sign on this. All right, we're using a gel pen because I can't draw on that. I literally cannot sign my name with white color pencil, so. Art is signed in white gel pen. First time I've ever signed my name with white gel pen. Finished art piece. All right, so there is that. I barely can see. I feel like my camera keeps going out of focus. I don't want that to happen. Hmm. Anyway, finished art piece. Is it my best piece? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I hope it's one of my better pieces. Like, I definitely feel I spent a lot of time trying to make it worth worthwhile. Uh, I'm not the best at drawing flares, like fire falling, but it was a fun experiment. I mean, I think the lighting on the body was really, really nice. I like. I think the lighting on the body was actually pretty good. Um, the overall lighting, you know, is what it is. I just hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely just hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did enjoy watching, smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it. Definitely would like to um, definitely like to create more of these in the future so everybody can hang out and uh, you know just I guess watch me draw and possibly get inspired if that definitely inspires you in some way. Uh, yeah. Um, So there is that, and uh, if any of you would like to, uh, of course, follow me, I'm also on Twitter. I can follow me on Twitter at uh, CoasterTheTVox. Uh, username on there is, I think it's called, is it at, I think it's called, at, I think it's at the Fox Dash. That's how you can find me on, on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and follow me on YouTube also. Like, subscribing would be fantastic. I definitely appreciate your time and really... Uh, Hope to create more in the future. Definitely do. And if you, oh, if you'd like to support my work by, you know, help me with buying supplies like colored pencils, because I am desperately needing a colored pencil, as you can see. Uh, I have a Kofi page. Uh, it's in the description of the video. If you would like to check that out, uh, it's just a place where you can basically. It's it's like virtually buying me a cup of coffee, like a virtual buying a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Uh, any amount you really wish, uh, I think uh, you could spend like $3, or any amount that you really wish at all. It's not a um, strap down, it's not a thing you have to repeat. You definitely don't have to repeat any of those things, it's a one-time donation thing. And uh, it just helps me support, you know, my work. Like stuff I do on the channel, videos, art, and, uh, you know, if you're ever interested, interested in that. So anyway... Uh, yes, I am Coaster the T-Fox. Thank you so much very much for watching. Uh, if you want to win pieces like this in my upcoming upcoming stream, uh, stay tuned for uh, next week's stream where I will be doing more art pieces like this for free, giving away free art pieces to the lucky winner. Now, there was a person during this live stream that also has a piece that they are supposed to have made for them. Uh, that will be uh, finished for them and uh, sent to them post-live stream uh, because it's quite late, and I was only able to get two pieces done tonight. However, um, contact information is in route, you know. Um, they definitely will be contacted, if not already contacted, and their piece will be made for them um, after this uh, after this live stream. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for, uh, not stay tuned, but basically, you know, check out my other videos if you'd like. In my description, I have a, I have quite a growing playlist of other speed drawings that I've done. I actually do speed drawings when I um, finish the live stream. I take this drawing and I edit it and shrink it down to a three-minute video or less 
of this being created at lightning speed. So you get to see the whole process in just a few moments. And digitally enhanced, you get to see all the colors that I work with exactly the way they are on the page. So if you want to see that, check out the playlist below. The videos are down there along with other tutorials and other art things. And of course, my basic regular fursuit and uh, furry videos, if you're interested in checking those out. So thanks so much for everyone for watching. Come on tonight. And uh, I will see you in the in the next video. So yay! Thanks guys for watching. Thanks everyone. And I will show you my paws because paws are good. And I washed my paws. I literally just washed my paws yesterday, and I think got most of the uh, most of the stains and just overall debris out. But uh, they're they're in need of some updates. These were only made for. Uh, convention for the weekend. I literally made these in my hotel room in 2017 for Anthrocon. You know Anthrocon, that mythical world's largest furry convention in Pittsburgh, PA, and I made these in my hotel room because I needed hand paws for the parade. So, like, in one night, I threw these together, and they weren't supposed to be lasting this long, and yet here they are. Six... Wait, how many years ago was that? Five? No. Four? Four years ago, and here they are. They're still being used. So, yeah, hand paws. They're basically just fleece. I definitely need to uh, up update the pair because they're not in the best condition. But so there is that. Also, um, yeah. So thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, these are my Copic, Copic, however you wish to call markers that I used in this drawing for this time. So I am getting better at using my Copic, 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 whatever you want to call it. Go pick markers. And I'd love to get some more. Because uh, they come in such a nice variety. You can mix these. You can mix your Copic markers. Of course, uh, as you saw, some of those mixed well, some of those didn't. And my hands are covered in permanent markers. So I guess I'm never getting that out of my skin. So yay. <laughs> and uh, this thing I used for any editing or many, any touch-ups is a gum eraser or... Uh, I'm not sure what should we call it. Some people call it like a sticky tack. But it's artist, gum eraser, soft eraser. It's fantastic for art. Believe me, your best friend when it comes to using graphite or color pencil. It just soaks up everything. And if you need a clean eraser, roll it up, stretch it, twist it, and you're good to go with a new fresh side. Fantastic stuff. And this is the packet. I'm going to go ahead and go back to this. This is the packet of the Copic markers that I ended up getting. Got these from Michaels. Uh, it's a six pack. Comes with your primary colors. It's your light blue, your blues, your pinks, your reds, your yellows, and then your golden yellows. So that's pretty nice. You can get your primary colors out of these by mixing them. So that's a plus. And then of course, uh, don't forget the art supplies that are crucially important when it comes to inking a, a uh, sketch. And that, of course, is your sketching pencil. You need your sketching pencil. And then, of course, you need your inking pens. A fine line inking marker. This one is Prismacolor Premier. But this is crucial to getting rid of your pencil lines. You want to use a vinyl plastic eraser. These vinyl plastic erasers erase your pencil lines without leaving ghosting behind. Ghosting is when you create a line, you erase it, but yet it's still there. There's still a little trace of that line there. This thing will obliterate your graphite lines without smearing, smudging, or tearing your paper, or leaving a pink smudge like traditional pink erasers used to do. So, super helpful. Um, if this thing ever does get dirty, rub it against a piece of material, clothing, sandpaper, cleans it right up. Fantastic to have. And I might as well touch on color pencils while I'm at it since I'm here. Color pencils. I use several different types. Uh, these right here are wax-based color pencils. I got these actually at Walmart. They're uh, middle ground quality. They're, gr they're great. They work. They actually do work pretty well. They do blend, which is nice. And then I also use Prismacolor. Prismacolor is... My go-to when I need a rich blending type color pencil that will blend to, to the ends of the earth. That will you know, get your deep colors, I'm talking. This is crimson red. Deep crimson reds, a um, variety of colors. You can 
mixture Prismacolor, superior mixing quality. Uh, everything great about Prismacolor in the box of color pencils is, is, is spot on, except that the lead breaks super easy. That is the only downfall I have with color pencils from Prismacolor, is everything else is fantastic, but when it comes to the points, too much pressure, it snaps. If you drop it on a hard surface, your lead breaks in several places inside. You know, that's only really big downfall. But for blending, I use a colorless blender. I've had this since, oh my gosh, 2007. And it's, I still have pencil left. I, I don't know if that's how long ago it was, but it's been a while. It's probably been about 10 years. And this just takes your colors without discoloring them and just blends them with translucent uh, beeswax. Because that's what these color pencils are actually made from. They're actually made from beeswax that's been pigmented. So it's super helpful when you have something that's natural like that and can blend and the, the works. And then this is your white color pencil. This is great for lightening your dark areas, lining your artwork, sometimes finding a signature, and then, of course, uh, blending. It, it blends super, super well. Uh, the only thing is it will lighten your colors as you go because it's white, so it will not only blend, but it will also lighten your colors. So only use if you intend to lighten those colors. Uh, something that's, you know, helpful. <clears throat> so anyway, that is most of the stuff I have for that. Uh, color. Oh, I also forgot to mention. Here, we actually have this. This is um, actually super helpful with sharpening color pencils, especially Prisma colors. You absolutely must have one of these. This is a dual process pencil sharpener. How it works is, let's say you have your color pencil. Let me get one that needs sharpening. Here's one. Dual chambers allow you to sharpen your pencil point with minimum breakage, such as uh, traditional pencil sharpeners would invoke on your pencil. So you start in chamber one. You twist, you twist, you twist until you lose the bite. There's no more bite on your pencil. You end up with a point that's relatively, you know, you have a point, but it's not tapered to a fine point. Um, continue in number one a little bit more until you absolutely get something more like this, where you start to actually get an even length piece of lead sticking out of the end. That's what you want, because then chamber number two is what you will sharpen with next. What chamber number two does is it refines that that blunt end to a nice sharpened point. And then you get your point. Now I didn't go super, super fine on this because there's no sense in going to the point where your point's gonna break on slightest contact. But something around this is a good area to have. Good for coloring, good for fine work. Yeah. And now you can go a step further, go ahead and sharpen in chamber number one again a little bit further and back over to chamber number two but be very careful because it has now got a much finer point on it in this anything sharp finer than this could be uh, could be um, vulnerable to breaking quite easily but as you see finer tip creates finer detail so anyway that's all i have for you tonight yeah, guys, they, um, everyone, thank you so much. I I just thought I'd show you what I used to draw with and such. But yeah, I will see you on the next video, everyone. Until then, take care and uh, have a nice week and um, stay furry and everything else. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, this is Coaster. Bye! How do you end this?